Unmute. There we go. <laughs> I'm going to say hello to the people. Hello, everybody. Everybody. How did you get those? Woo -woo. All righty. We are live. Are we live? Are we there? Hair is all kind of crazy today. Don't mind the crazy hair, people. Don't mind the crazy hair. This is a crafty, crafty um, live stream today. So <laughs> we're going to do some crafts. Some crafts. There we go. I'm trying to, like, show you the stuff that's on the, on the thing here. All right. Without, like, 17 things and all of that good stuff. Sort of, kind of, trying to get the right shot on here. That'll work. Sort of. All right. I am trying to get the best angle of this camera, but it's not giving me the best angle in the world. But we'll just have to do. And there's trash can in the background. <laughs> All righty. I'm trying to say hello to everybody. We've got Reese. All righty. Hey, Myra, how you doing? All right, I'm going to move this. I know I can't get it together today. We're trying to get the right angles, and it just never works right how you want it. <laughs> the right angles. The right angles. Can we just got before? No, my Rob's playing video games in the back, so hopefully you don't hear any loud profanity. I told them no loud profanity. <laughs> They're children on the stream, okay? <laughs> I didn't say anything bad. No, no loud profanity. I know you're streaming. Yeah, we don't kind of can't have any like naughtiness. People get carried away when they when play video games, so Rob gets carried away when he plays video games. I get loud. He gets loud, like Jennifer Lopez. Let's get loud. There we go. All righty. So today we are going to be sewing-ish. Um, <laughs> trying to show you guys how to do this, or we're going to do this all together. So I think there's a lag on this camera. Oh, yeah. Is it just me? Hey, Taylor. Hey, Jillian. I think there's a lag on this camera. Hang on a second. You're okay on this one? I can't tell. Can't get it together today. She can't get it together today. The lighting is terrible, but we'll just have to deal with it. All right. Again, I don't know if there's a lag on the second camera. I think it's lagging a little bit, isn't it? Very important stream tonight. Yes. <laughs> there's two gens for the price of one tonight. Um, this is like the regular cam. I'm going to show you what we're, we're, we're going to need here, okay? Ooh, goodness. Okay. Ah, this camera's so laggy. There, is that better? I think it's better. Give it a second. Give it a second. I want to make sure you can see all this stuff um, that we're going to have and what we're going to do here with the, what we're going to need for this stream. We're going to try to uh, sew a mask. There we go. I just want to make sure people can see it. All right. Double angle here. Yes. Okay. This is difficult. <laughs> you need a face mask. Okay. We all do, girl. We all do. Um, here, I'm going to remove that from the, I don't know. I just make that one smaller. I'm trying to make the other one bigger. Nope, the other way. The other way, Jen. Nope. I want it the other way. It's the other way. The other uh oh. Way. Uh -oh. Yeah, I gotta turn off the mic. It screwed it up. I screwed it up.
There we go. Okay. So I'm trying to make sure the mic is muted on this one. I apologize. There we go. I want to make sure you can see what I'm doing on the side. Don't mind the hot mess of fabric there. This is what you need to see right here. So, all right, how's everybody doing? I want to say hello to everybody first and foremost. So, there we go. How y'all doing? Everybody doing good so far? We're in the kitchen. It's the only table I have is a dining room table. So we're going to work on this today. I'm going to say hi to Ruby, Chips, Kate, Sherry, Jillian, Lance, Myra, Sherry, um, Danielle, Nancy. Okay. Yes, I hope we'll get back to Disney soon. We are so ready. We are absolutely ready. Okay. You love the fabric. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Mike, Cindy, Sambo. Hey, Amy, Ruby, Carrie. Um, there's... Nick, Timothy H, what's up? Bootson and Katzen, while we're watching, what are we watching? Some crazy movie with Shaq in it. Shazam. Shazam, okay. Kazam, Kazam. At least I always said Shazam. Alrighty. Um, okay, okay. Anyway, I hope you guys were able to gather some stuff. Um, if you check the description box below, you will have um, the list of all the different materials that you're going to need. Okay? So I'm trying to just, we were going to do a little mixology stream too because I got some um, cocktails and liquor from like the liquor store that will, will make some homecoming um, cocktails. So it'll be really, really good. All right. I want one. All right, we're all good. All right, just making sure I was just making a mess. I don't know why this is. The phone keeps unhooking from. There we go. I'm like, you need to see this really quick. Oh, hey, Leanne, how you doing? It has all the stuff that you're going to need. So I don't know if you can get it online or you're able to go to Joann's or anything like that. Because I know right now some places you're not able to go to Joann's or Walmart or anything like that. You can't even go anywhere. So, you know, we're going to do the best we can with what we have and what you have access to. So if you have, you know, access to things, then... Give me one second because I'm going to have to mute this. It's going to start beeping again. You know, I just want to make sure you have all these things that you need. Why not? It doesn't really like hurt or anything. So don't mind the mess there. Um, it's going to end up looking like this. Um, it's like a little cloth mask. Here, I will just point this downwards. I'm trying to do this two action stream here to show you guys all the different things that you could buy. Um, fat quarters will be fine if your Joann's or your Walmart is not currently cutting fabric because I know a lot of places they're not. Um, you could buy fat quarters, which is like a quarter of a yard. They already sell that. But it's going to look like this, something like this, a very simple face mask. Basically, it has the three pleats on the front right here. Um, there we go. 
Hey, Heather, how you doing? And I know you guys have probably seen this um, type of mask everywhere you go now. Like you've probably seen it in a million different like videos and everything because everybody has it. So, I mean, it's a little bit of a mess, but I'm trying to just show you like all the things that you will need that to start this project. Everything is listed in the description box below if you're not sure. But you could buy some fat quarters. Let me know if you have any questions. I don't know if, um, are we muted everywhere? Can you hear me now? Better? But then I can hear myself on this one. Sorry, then you're gonna hear me on the phone. Eee, that's okay. <laughs> we'll we'll suck it up, Buttercup, over here. All right. Don't mind the craziness that is there. I'm trying to show you what you need first and foremost. Are we good now? Hi, Cindy and Kurt. All right. Awesome. Awesome. So it's gonna look like this: a very simple face mask, like with the pleats that you've seen everywhere. I'm sure. Um. There we go. Like I think you've seen this mask everywhere. It just kind of goes like this. You're gonna tie it way high up. I really find the bias tape my favorite. I bought bungee. You can use hair elastics. Um, you can use um, the headbands. You know, you go for running. They're like, they're made out of elastic, the thin headbands that you can buy at Walmart for your hair. You can cut that up and then just tie it. Cause all you're gonna do is need something to loop through here. So you could either make it like a loop like this through elast like with elastics, like so, and then you hook it over the ears. But I don't think that's tight at all. I've tried it. I prefer the surgical style better because you can make it tighter. So and make sure like it'll it has a little bit of um, pipe cleaner. This has pipe cleaner in it for the nose piece. So that way the nose piece is pretty tight and you can double it up. I bought like a whole pack of pipe cleaners and I have more in my like crafting closet. Who knew I had like a hundred million of them um, for the nose piece. So you can fit, it has a little pocket in the back right here to put a filter. And then this right here is the pipe cleaner. So it'll mold to your nose, you know? Again, our disclaimer today, we're just gonna try to make a very simple um, face mask, you know, using some fabric, pipe cleaners, elastic or bias tape. Um, that's all you're really gonna need. And then a filter, I put suggestions down there of whatever, can you still do it if you're not good at sewing? Yeah, you can, you can hand sew it. It's gonna take you longer or you can have, um, you know, mom or grandma or whoever in your life, dad even, um, help you sew. So, but it ends up being fitted like this and you actually make sure when you do it, when you tie a surgical mask, it goes high up on your head back here. Okay, you're gonna tie this like, it's not supposed to be high fashion, like Rob said. You can't, um, there we go. It's not supposed to be like high fashion. So make sure like it's over your ears, you tie it in the back, very tight. You'll want it tight because um, we're trying to keep out bacteria here and viruses and stuff. But again, there is no guarantee. This is just per Surgeon General and um, CDC suggestions that one. And the other one, the bottom ties around your neck. So at that point, yeah, you can lift your hair if you want and then slip it under there and then tie it around your neck. So this is what you're gonna do and grab this, all right? And so you're gonna tie it around the back and then this is your DIY tutorial here today and then and tie it right here. So this is just something that you guys have asked for. A million people have asked me to do this. So, you know, if, you're not, if this is not something you wanna do because it's a DIY project, I will see you guys later. Have fun. But being that we're in this current climate, a lot of you guys have asked for this tutorial. So it took me a couple of days to figure out the easiest one that I could do that you guys can probably follow along to. So just something different. You know what I mean? If you're certainly not your cup of tea of content, I will see you guys next time. <laughs> so we'll see you guys in the next stream if this is not your thing. Okie dokie. So... All you're gonna need is some fabric. If you need um, fat, um, fat quarters, which you could buy at like Walmart or other places, you certainly 
can do that or Joanne's, Michael's, Hobby Lobby, online sells them, whatever you can find. Um, you want like tightly like a cotton weave fabric, which is very small. Um, I read an article today too that they were saying, make sure like it's not a see-through, like so if it's, um, I do, I wear it everywhere and gloves. I wear gloves too. I mean, you go to our Walmart, you see people wearing it. So I'm not the only one. Everybody's wearing it at every store that we go to. I went to go buy vegetables today at the Spanish market, which has more fresh veggies. They took my temperature at the door. Just saying. Um, this is kind of our new reality now. So, yeah, if you don't have, like, delivery or you have to go out, I know a lot of people are just getting Instacart or, you know, like, they'll, you'll pay the extra $10 to go get your groceries. I don't know if you're still getting your groceries or you guys just getting everything delivered. I don't know, you guys let me know. Are you guys even going outside or no? Are you guys completely just not even buying your own groceries or I just wanna know. <laughs> then you don't need this tutorial. If you are not leaving the house, then you don't definitely not need it. But a lot of you guys had asked me because you wanted to kind of like make it yourself and there's a whole bunch of different ones that tutorial is out there so something you guys ask for definitely not something you need to watch if you're you don't you're not going outside there you go at work or at work they're definitely hi allison you're um requiring andrea has to wear it for work today at walmart the the employees are work, wearing gloves and masks even the guy picking up the um the shopping carts he's wearing a mask um every store that i've gone to has the plexiglass at the cashier and you have to maintain like the six foot distance and they have them all marked off on the floor so it just depends yeah even doctors appointments as well you know when I delivered there you go you're getting it deliver you walk to Publix and home exactly anywhere you go we're trying to I think adopt a more South Korea model which this is what they do anyway this is their normal the minute it started so this might be our new normal you may have to go to a doctor's appointment you have no choice take your kid to the emergency room or something you're gonna have to go outside eventually so if you do you know I know like rubber gloves gloves of any kind are hard to find right now we saw a guy today out that was wearing um dishwashing gloves you know, better than nothing, he bought those like little flowery dishwashing gloves, but you know, he didn't care. He was like, I have a mask, this is the only gloves I could find, you got flowers on it, I'm gonna wear it. Go go for it. So this also has a little pocket in order to put a filter if you wanna put a filter in it. So, exactly. Who made one today in Mickey Mouse? Oh, you did, Sheila, good job, awesome. Yeah, so it's pretty easy to make. You could either hand sew it or um, we're gonna sew it with a um, sewing machine. So it's entirely, entirely up to you guys. Um, you're gonna need, the list is in the description box below, so I made notes. You're gonna need a piece of fabric like this. So I have Villains one, it's just a fat quarter. Or, you know, they, they sell them online. You can buy, they're called fat quarters or a quarter. You don't even need all of it, but you can make multiple masks with like a fat quarter, maybe two, at least two. Um, you need the first piece of cotton, woven cotton, and it's 15 by seven and a half inches. So seven and a half this way, 15 this way. So that's the first thing that you're gonna do. Uh, yep. There we go. Perfect. We'll just do that way people kind of know what we're doing. 30 for my silver barrel. And I need 26 and then 30 for my white All righty. Uh oh, we're beeping again. We are too close to this. All right. I'll just do that one. That'll work. Sort of, kind of. All right. All right. So you need a seven and a half by 15 inch of fabric. So it's going to look like a giant rectangle. 
And I have this other one cut also, this really pretty Disney print that I saw at the store. So I got this one. So you're going to need that. You're going to need um, two pieces of bias strips. These two little pieces right here. You just cut them from whatever leftover fabric you have. Or you can mix and match if you want to do a different color or something. You know what I mean? Um, if that's not a good, you don't want it to match, you want it opposite or a different color or solid color, you can do the bias strip, whatever color you want. Um, it is one and a half by four inches. So one and a half across this way, and then four inch is the length. So you need two of those pieces for the ends of your mask right here. It's this part right here. So that's like the tubing that you put the bias tape through. Got it? Okay, I'm trying to catch up here. Do you have to wash it regularly? Yes. Um, if it gets dirty, that's why I said try to make more than one. I mean, they don't want us buying any of the medical grade stuff. Like, leave that for the medical people. We don't need to be doing that. So, yep. Hang on, let me just turn. Yeah, I thought it was muted. I don't know why I'm still hearing it. I really shouldn't. Um, <clears throat> Katie's wearing a mask to work. You're doing grocery by delivery, but would like to have one in case of emergency. Hey, Rosalie. Hey, Heather. Horizons. You go to your yard in the grocery store. Okay, yeah, so you are going to the grocery store. The grocery store, you might need to wear it. And Faith said yes, because this is her everyday. This is her new normal. I mean, you're going to have to go to the doctor's office to somewhere, to the store. You're going to run out of food. Um, yes, doing delivery as much as you can. Yes, and if some people who are working in essential jobs, you guys have to wear masks and gloves, and I don't know if everybody at work provides them for you. I think you're going to have to provide it for yourself, I think. So, awesome. Um, yeah, I wear it every time I'm out, for sure. Oh, yeah, send it to your mom and we'll go tight it. Yes, you have to wash it r regularly. I have more than one. Um, I have several. I've got a Little Mermaid one. Hang on, let me go find my aerial one. I thought I had it out here already. I had aerial out already. What did I do with her? <laughs> I moved her. I don't know where I put aerial. Oh, she's right here. Okay. And that's the thing, I got it. I did an aerial one. This was like my rough go, and I put more pleats in this one. So this is my aerial one that I made. So here is the aerial one. That's got a lot of pleats in it. And then I did like a red bias tape instead of um, you know, the green. It just depends on what you like. But a cotton fabric that's a pretty small weave is what would work. So I use that as well. So that was one of my first attempts. This one is fairly easy. I watched a whole bunch of um, other videos. So I'm not the first one to come up with this concept. Many other people are on online. Um, I took the notes of other videos that I watched. If you guys were interested in watching those, it's pretty much the same kind of thing she like the one girl used like a donkey kong fabric which is super cute um easy to sew leah day hobby lobby had a video actually and what is it ailey riley blake designs was one of them but um yeah easy to sew leah, leah day hobby lobby had a video pretty much doing the same thing um they're all kind of the same type of mask so i just kind of took notes and tweaked it the way it worked better for me. Um, she, they, a lot of them use elastic. You cannot find elastic anywhere you go. So if you have it already, yes, that's awesome. Have more than one. I have three made already, actually. So, and then there's another design I want to work on. Maybe in the next couple of days, we're going to make an Olsen mask. This is the next one we're going to do. It's called Olsen mask pattern. This is by the uh, Unity Point Hospital in Oklahoma. So that's the next mask I'm going to make. That's more like just a very like, simple one that looks like that but it's also double um 
coated. It, it's, it's a different shape than that. This is more like a surgical type mask. And again, you have to understand there's the disclaimer to that. It doesn't prevent or prevents you from washing, from touching your face, or at least like it prevents you from contaminating everybody else. Basically, that's the, that's the only thing this mask is doing. Like you're actually not getting other people sick. This is what you want to do, you know? Um, it's fairly simple. I don't know if you're able to find any supplies. You can buy them online. We did check a bunch of stuff online too before we started streaming to make sure you guys were able to find some of the stuff. Um, it's listed in the description box below. Um, get one menu. Oh yes, there's one in the, there you go. Uh, Todd just posted it yeah. on the, um, what is that? I was on my iPad being crazy. I'm like, okay, scaring me to death. <laughs> it's possessed. Um, yeah, cotton fabric. There you go. I wrote it down. Plier, scissors. The list is in the description box. Um, is there any way? I work in a grocery store. Yeah, I'm sure other people are selling them or making them, or you can hand sew it too. Um, it's not. It's not hard to breathe with it on, but it is hot. So, oh, there you go. You made Disney, you made Pixie Mom made ones with the kids today. That's awesome. Waiting for the inspiration. Got it. Okay. Yeah, rubber bands on the hair ties. Yeah, there are no so ones that are basically like um yeah, you have family member that makes one makes one perfect. Yeah, the ones that they sew is just basically like you fold the fabric where my hair tie at. I had a hair tie on here. But if you have a hair tie, what they do is just to basically fold it. They have a no sew one. It's better than nothing. And then you just like, they just tuck it in basically and they put the elastics on the side and over your face. Again, it's very, very loose. So just make sure that it just depends on what you want or what your ability is. If you can't sew at all, then I would definitely, I can do a no sew tutorial for you guys. It's not going to be the same as this. It's not going to be like, you can use any fabric you want, but again, it's going to be pretty loose. It's just like a bandana. You just buy like a bandana or fabric. You just fold it. You tuck like the two hair ties in, you know, the two black elastics. You tuck it in and it goes over your ears. Like, but it's again, very, very loose. The main thing is you want it tight, you know? So this is a double layer. It's actually three because I do put a filter in it. This one that I made has the Velcro in it. I, I the one I'm, we're not doing that one today because it's just a little less, you know, I just put Velcro and then I have my, I actually have a 0.2 micron filter in here, which is smaller than an N95. So again, for filter, you can use HEPA vacuum bags. You can, um, if you find um, surgical wrap, you can certainly use that, which is 0.2 micron. So, um, you know, or um, you can use HEPA vacuum bags that's what's the most accessible to the public and then you just you know end up being like three layers basically you have the double layer front and back and then of course the main thing is you want it tight so you know what i mean it has to it has to be tight and and, and the nice thing about this you just take the filter out you wash it and you put it back in once the filter is wet it's no longer good you throw it out <laughs> so just make sure you kind of you know keep that in mind um you can buy a giant HEPA filter, whether it be for your AC or your vacuum bags, and you can get a lot of um, filters out of that one vacuum bag. I know there's like a run on vacuum bags now too, but you can still order them online. Uh, Lowe's or Sears online has them. Check your grocery store, whatever grocery store you have in your town. They still have HEPA vacuum bags, I'm sure. Um, and then bias tape, because you're really not gonna be able to find any elastic anywhere. The bias tape looks like this. So it is just this different colored ones, if you'd like. Um, and then this, you know, it looks like this comes in a package. But bias tape is probably your best bet of, um, you know, if you want elastics, you can. And they just go over the ears. I tried this one with the elastic. I found bungee cord. It's just called bungee. Um, it looks just like a black elastic. And I, got, I found it at like Hobby Lobby. But it wasn't tight at all. It literally was like barely hanging on my face. And I'm like, the point is not that. You know what I mean? It's just you want it as tight as you can. You can breathe through it. It's going to get you're going to get a little getting used to to use it. But this is our new normal now. I mean, 
the like I said, I went to the Spanish grocery store to go buy some um, limes, and the guy took my temperature at the door. So like they do the the thermal, like just the skin one, but he was taking it on people's wrists. He really should have done it on the forehead, but he was checking everybody's temperature before they could come to the store. Um, everybody at Walmart or Publix when they go to the market is wearing masks and gloves now, most everybody. So, you know, that's what we're trying to do. The hardest part, so those are the things. And also you can use, uh, you can also use flower wire is another thing that we could try to use for the nose because the pipe cleaner is a little less, um, you could double it up, I guess, to make it a little bit more, if you want it to fit to your nose, because an N95 mask is fitted, and you want to try to get a seal as much as possible right here. So, like, it fits pretty good to your nose, and it's got the little fuzzy bit on it, so it's a little bit more comfortable. You could do that with this, too, or a, a wire hanger. Scott used a wire hanger. Um, floral wire is another thing that you can consider. It's a little more stiff to put across the nose bridge. But I just, yeah, if you can't find pipe cleaners, and these are pretty cheap, you can find them at the dollar store, the crafting section. They're pretty easy to find, you know? So, hi, ODA. Oh, you're so welcome. <laughs> you know, um, Rob, I mean, Rob works in healthcare, so he obviously has all the PPE in the world because he works, you know, he works in a hospital. He has no choice. I said, no PPE, no worky. That's just the way it is. So, and a lot of you guys are needing to do that as well. So, yep okay yeah, cool yeah. so the, the the those are the things that you're gonna have like to look for is the fabric buy fat quarters if you have to joanne's has a ton of beautiful disney fabric you want it like tightly woven a minimum 180 thread count because you want it this you want like light not to go through it you want it very very tightly woven so t-shirts anything stretchy is probably not good um they said if you do like a thinner fabric line the back of it with flannel this is a more flannel this is a more flannel material i really like this one but this one so much better because it's soft so it, even if you make it like two tones so this fabric we end up folding in half the first thing you're going to do actually with this um 15 by seven and a half piece is you're going to fold this in half and then we're going to go down about like a half an inch we're gonna go down like a half an inch right here and we're gonna sew an inch and a half in and then an inch and a half this way as well. I would go down, I think, like a full inch, honestly, because I think I'm gonna make the top pocket a little bit bigger. So the first thing you're gonna do is sew one and a half um, inch in and you're gonna leave like kind of like this space in the middle. So that's the first thing we do, we fold this fabric in half. So if you don't want like the, the scratchy fabric, on both sides I would do like maybe half and then like sew it together like make the back side of it the flannel because the flannel is really 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 soft yeah no t-shirts they said was not good I wrote it's on a um, NBC news article um, I guess they did a bunch of tests they want like a woven fabric because t-shirts are too thin if you can see light through it they said it's probably not a good fabric you want it like pretty tightly woven. I don't know if you can see how tight the weave is on this. It's very tight. Like, cause you, you're trying to make sure they were doing like um, air tests on them to see if like particles were going through. And then see, once you put the light through, you can barely see the light through this cause we're gonna double it up, right? So this fabric is pretty tightly woven cause even with the light, you can't see through it. You wanna make sure you can, you can't see through the fabric where it's very, very hard. So this fabric is really good. Even this one, and when we double it up, it's kind of the same thing because it's tightly woven. You don't really see the light coming through it because you see the size of the holes, I guess. So that's the first thing you're gonna do. Um, you're gonna fold it in half. So that one big piece of fabric that we have, you're just gonna fold it in half, okay? And what you're gonna do, or actually, what you can do is just put a seam through the top. You're just going to do a straight stitch through the top. So it doesn't, or a zigzag stitch if you want. Mine's not behaving today. So I just did a straight stitch through the top. And then you're going to do a straight stitch through the bottom. And then you're going to fold this fabric like I'll so. All the way over here. And then you're going to sew. You're going to fold this piece of fabric in half just like that and then we're gonna sew right here 
We're gonna sew one and a half in this way, one and a half inch. We're gonna leave this gap in the middle because what we're gonna do is we're going to fold it like this in half. So once you've sewn that, we're going to iron this seam straight. And that's what makes this little pocket that we have here. This is making your filter pocket. That's what we're making. Yeah, kind of makes sense, sort of, kind of. Yeah, the fabric, they're called fat quarters. Yeah, exactly. The fat quarters, they're called fat quarters. Yeah, the Dollar Tree, absolutely. And I know Dollar Tree has this because I bought pipe cleaners at the Dollar Tree before. So do all of that. Let's get it to 100 likes. All right. Yeah, I have a ton of cute fabric. So <laughs> I already had them because I make ears. Um, so I just raided my ear closet and, you know, Ask the, the mods. We've been, we're just on house party all day. This is pretty much what we've been doing. So <laughs> we talk there noon till night. Not only bad, bad part is you can only fit eight people in a room. So that's the sad part of it. I wish we could do more. Like we were talking about going on Zoom, but I'm so worried about all the security breaches. And I'm like, people be downloading your information while you're on there. <laughs> I don't know. So we tried that. Um, but you know, we just kind of talk to each other just to keep our sanity. Hopefully you guys are talking, you know, like making people, um, you know, talking to people, talking to your friends, your family, just maintain your sanity somehow. Cause we all need that right now. Um, all right. So that's the first thing you're going to do. Are we taking notes? I don't know. <laughs> I have notes too. I mean, if anything, I could type up the show notes, I guess, and kind of write down. I can type it on the website and have you like the step-by-step -step instructions and how to do this. All right. And flower wire. Yeah, they have the flower wire. This might be a little hard on your nosy, but I mean, if you want to use that, you can. Um, I haven't tried it. And what size? It's a the piece that we're using which is now vanished it's seven and a half inches long yeah the pipe cleaner you need to cut to seven and a half where's my scissors scissors john lost your scissors all right <laughs> we're going to cut this to seven and a half inches so i also have the pliers to you're just going to pinch the ends of those. So you just measure it seven and a half, like right about there. And if you want to double it up, you sure can. Like if you want to make sure that the piece is fairly secure, you can just double it up if you want. And then you're, what you're going to do here eventually is just to pinch these. You're going to just pinch them together that way it doesn't like stab through the fabric a couple of times yeah and this part should be okay um so if you're gonna double it up you might want to make that pocket a little bit bigger when we get to it but this is for your nose bridge so i'm sure you could do the same thing with the flower wire this just might be a little it might be better because it's really really it's fairly stiff you know people use flower wire to make those mickey ears and then you just cut it to seven and a half there. This you probably don't need to double up because it's plenty uh, strong. Don't try this with your scissors at home. These are Cutco scissors. They will cut through a penny. Yep. <laughs> Those scissors that we bought from um, Food & Wine last year. Like the best pair of scissors you're ever going to have. Um, you need some straight pins as well. Obviously needle and thread if you have it. If you need a straight needle, you just get a straight needle and thread. Um, but yep there's this little piece and it's the same thing you're going to put it across your nose to like fit it this one's a little tighter actually so say? it might work better it's just kind of hard to form it down here though see it'll form to your nose no, but i don't, I don't think it's going to like it doesn't form as well as this one this one i think like because not only do you have to pinch it through your nose it's got to be like around your nose like through your cheek you want to kind of have like a chevron shape like your nose and in your cheek because you want it to form a little bit of a seal oh and the most important part of this which i found on another tutorial but that's why i found all the good things that i found and put them all together into one stream is um double-sided tape have you ever used double-sided tape like you had a little low-cut shirt and you don't want to have like um 
wardrobe malfunction. It's like for skin, like if you're wearing a Jennifer Lopez shirt, you know, very low cut and you don't want stuff lying out. Double sided tape is what um, the Oklahoma Unity Health people use to make it airtight with their type of mask. So I guess you would just put tape all around the inside of the mask right here like i would shape it to your face and then put that mask on and impress the mask once you have the tape on your face you want it around here and you kind of make a seal out of it and then put your mask on and then just kind of push all the way around to try to make it as airtight as possible so you know yeah i'm sorry Raphael. how you doing yeah I'm, i know the the wi-fi is kind of crazy everywhere you go i just want to make sure we're we're hanging tough here all right, so let's start with that, and then we'll go over here. And so really? <laughs> we're going to sew, we're going to sew. I'm going to turn you guys over on the younger side so I can still talk to you and kind of see the... Jump the bar. Go figure. All right. We'll go <laughs> sew the first part of this. I know, it's going to be like forever and 20 day thing here. Trying to make sure you guys can see where. All right, so we're gonna do this fabric. We're gonna do this one. So we fold it in half, right? Okay, so we folded it in half. Gracious. All right. So we folded the fabric in half. We've got a seam right here and a straight. You can do a zigzag stitch or a straight stitch through the back of that. I'm gonna put all my pillows back here so I can reach the petals. So I'm not like a short person, as I am. So you're gonna fold the fabric in half, like so. And I use a little baby curling iron. <laughs> Because that's how she rolls. If you don't have a little, um, you can just use a little old curling iron. This is my really old curling iron. I, I don't, you know, it's hard to bring a full size iron, but for little pieces. So you could just like fold it in half and then I just iron that seam. This is like a five year old curling iron I was going to throw out. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to use it for sewing because I need it when I sew ears and when I sew other small projects. I, I don't need a full size iron around here. So what we're going to do at the very top, I'm probably going to go, it's normally just like a half an inch down. I'm actually going to go a full inch down. So you're just going to, you can measure it if you want, or you could eyeball it. That's an inch right there. So I would probably go like right about there. You know, so it like, so right about there. If you want to mark it with a pin, you can. So we're going to go like right about there on both sides. So you're going to sew that first and foremost. Kind of make our line. And if you need to like mark it up because you are not a professional sewer, as most of us are not, you can. You can mark it so you can kind of sew like in a straight line. Um, you get like marking chalk or whatever pencil you got and just mark it. You can't kind of see the marking chalk. Actually, you really can't see it because it's white. So here, we'll just use a pen. We're not going to get. So we're going to sew like about an inch and a half in this way and then on the other side as well. That is not straight, bro. Not straight. Um, full power. And then on this side, we do an inch and a half as well. Really? You gotta mark it. You gotta mark it. You know, if you're not the most with that. Can you hear me? All right, okay, okay, I just wanna make sure. Yeah, again, if you're allergic to surgical tape, you can't use it. Just be careful, again, that's my disclaimer down low. If you're allergic to latex, 
Yes, double-sided tape for dance competitions. Yeah, Andrea got it. So we don't have a wardrobe malfunction. I'm so happy seeing you guys, too. I miss you guys so much. Share the stream out if you haven't already. I know we do a lot of these late-night streams. We literally are on the phone till 3 in the morning, sometimes longer. We have turned into vampires. We truly are the, uh, the Lost Boys of Orlando. So this is a very, very old, old, old summon machine but it still works so we also have some 3d printed ones that were sent to us by the lovely mclean family thank you very much so if you have friends that have a 3d printer you need to go hit those people up too that's a whole different um kettle of fish but again you would use the same type of filter if you have that the hardest thing is finding the elastic to tie that sucker to your face. The tighter, the better. You're not gonna be in the shop that long, but I'm just saying, like, honestly, you want it, like, tight on your face. Allergic to my dog, all right. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see that. Can you see it? Or should I need to put it like right in front of the sewing machine? Yeah, there we go. Sewing machine vision. I don't know, so you can kind of see what I'm doing there. Let's take this straight pin out. Let's not sew the straight pin, Jen, or stab ourselves. Okay, dokie. Uh, Rob's playing video games in the background. Questions? Comments? <laughs> Are we so good? No, I see you, Belinda. I see you. You're on Facebook. Everybody's on YouTube. Make sure you guys go on YouTube. Give us a thumbs up if you haven't already. I see you. I see you. I see Belinda. Cindy, how you doing? Hey, Alicia, I miss you too. Hey, Pam Pam. Yes, Mitchie just had a birthday. We are vampires. Yes, we are. 3M filter for my inserts. I you can. You can use, yeah, you can use um the furnace filter or you can use vacuum bags. Those are really good. Um, I actually have surgical wrap, so I'm lucky. Um I use this. This is my filter, but you can use vacuum bags, y'all. Um I use this, so this is surgical wrap. This is what you wrap instruments in. This is a 0.2 micron. It's smaller than an N95. An N95 is a 0.3. So I can use this for a lot of different, more than one. So I've been using that, and I use two layers. You probably can only, you, you probably don't even need to use more than the one layer. But, like, my mask is, like, four layers. I use more than, um, yeah, it's, it's the wrap that they put, um, like, if you have an instrument, tray like in the hospital when you're getting surgery or whatnot it's what the trays go in uh -huh. this is smaller because once it's been autoclaved and sterilized it goes in here and that way it keeps all the germs out and they put plastic over it it's basically surgical wrap that you wrap the tools or instruments in um most people won't have access to that unless you work in healthcare your hepa filter for your vacuum will be your best best one that you can probably buy so that's what i use for a filter i did write the suggestions down below so if you guys are um, interested but the vacuum one is probably the best one that we can use that you can find okay no you're good okay um it's just the easiest i've got a bunch more different fabric i get more like yeah this is i think a fat quarter that i bought it's like a little haunted mansion fabric so I can use that too. Anything that's like a woven material. Um, I've got a lot of buffalo plaid, all uh, sorts of good stuff. So, this, this all right, back to what we're doing. We're gonna do the one and a quarter inch, one and a half inch on each, each side here. I'm just gonna do the rest of this in here because we're gonna be sewing pretty much the whole rest of the time. So um, do the other side, same thing. <clears throat> doesn't have to be the prettiest. I'm not the neatest sewer. I just know enough how to sew. Not a lot, just enough to make ears and masks. 
Is that the true? Uh-oh, what am I doing wrong? Oh, we got left. All right. So now you have the one and a half inch seam on both sides usually not even so it's straight it's a little slightly crooked but it's fine. there it is <laughs> so we're gonna fold it so it's gonna look like that and then it has like a little hole uh, in the middle so that's gonna be like our pocket So now we're gonna press this. I don't know if you can see me. We're gonna press the seam flat. I use an old curling iron because hey, you know what? It works easier than a big old iron. So you're gonna open it like this, and then you're gonna press the seam flat. Ooh, let's not burn ourselves with that. This is a very, very ancient curling iron that I don't use anymore. <laughs> and I found a creative use to recycle it for using it for crafts. I find it working better because it works better in small places than a big old iron. Because you don't have room for an ironing board when you're trying to show craft. So that's what I do. So now you have the seam down the middle like so. Yes, yes. I just want to make sure. Um, I'm trying to read the questions. Oh, wow. I missed it. Um, Yes. <laughs> oh, good. Okay. Hey, Lori. How you doing? Yeah, we're trying to do something um, just creative here because I know you guys have asked me to do this for quite a bit. Oh, you bought one. Okay. Um, once the filter is wet, um, you can throw it out. The thing with these is you can rewash them. So the whole thing is you got to keep this dry. So whatever HEPA filter or whatever filter even the hepa filter for your ac you could probably use that so just make sure that you have um you know that you have oops. yeah uh oh did i click on your oh no i clicked on the comment sorry Lysol, um, I don't know if I would wet a paper mask. So, yes, you gotta wash it at home. Exactly, Chips, you got it. That's a, that's a, yes, that is the suggestion. You gotta have multiple. So just make sure that you sew more than one. You're gonna be able to definitely um, wash them. Um, I have like three masks, so that's what I do. Throw one in the wash, just take your filter out. Once the filter is wet, it's trash. You cannot use it anymore. Once this is wet, basura. Got it? Okay. So now we folded this. Did we kind of follow along where this is? Hi, Denise. How you doing? Almost. Oh, I miss you guys so much. I really, really do. Um, and I know it's a hot minute to do this, but you know, oh, safety pin is another thing you're going to need. One of these things, just a little baby safety pin. You're going to need one later. So a little itty bitty safety pin. Um, we're going to have to thread the bias tape through that. So that's what we're going to have to use that for. So we kind of got to here, right? So we first thing we did was do a stitch here on the top when it was still one long piece like this when it was one long piece we stitched the top we stitched the bottom i would prefer a zigzag stitch but my machine is very old and not cooperating with me so no zigzag stitch today um but i just ran a straight straight stitch to it that way the fabric doesn't run then you fold the fabric in half 
And then you're gonna do what we did here, which is you just sewed one and a half inch on each side. So that's what we did. And then we fold it in half. We still have the little gap in, in the middle there. That's gonna be our little filter there. Okie dokely, we got two cameras. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you could boil it, you could do whatever you want. No, uh, the N95 gets wet, it's no good, but can be used over and over if kept dry. It's technically one use only. N95s are only supposed to be used once. So most nurses work one 12 hour shift. You don't pee, you don't eat, you don't go to the bathroom, you don't do nothing. You're in, you're in for the 12 hours and you take it off, I know. I can read both messages. Yes, Raphael, I can. So <laughs> I can see it. Kamusta? Magandang gabi po. Actually, it's morning in the Philippines, ain't it? Yes. 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4. 4? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It's noon. It's noon in the Philippines. But I know you're uh, not all You're not all in the Philippines. I know there are some people watching from there. So, hey, kamusta? Magandang umaga po. <laughs> um, yes, you need to crazy rub. You can boil and dip in warm water for an hour. You totally could do that. Yes, let's give us a, I know it's kind of late and this is a tutorial. Everybody's like, you'll just have to rewatch it tomorrow and make it, you can pause the video, sew it, and then get back to where you need to be and that will be good. Okie dokie. So we did that. I even made myself notes so I don't get confused. Now we're going to turn it inside, uh, right side up. So you grab this sucker and just turn it right side up. And now we got our pretty Disney fabric, like so. So we just have it right side up. We're gonna turn turn it right side up right here. Okie dokie. And what we're gonna do is add an edge stitch to both sides of the pocket right here. This is the pocket, because this is where your um, little nose um, thing is gonna go and where the pocket for the filter is gonna go. So you're just gonna do an edge stitch right here and right here. I mean, you can even, no, you need it. I was gonna, can you actually even like skip that step? Probably not. Um, oh, this way, yeah, because we're gonna fold it. Yep. We're gonna need to put an edge stitch all the way around. There's no getting around it. Don't be lazy, just do it. <laughs> yeah, I know it's late. Well, see, Pam, I'm completely nocturnal again already. All we do is, yeah, nobody gets up before noon anymore. It's terrible. Or just, yeah, it's, it's bad. I've completely turned nocturnal, which is my normal anyway. I only worked during the day, but I'm naturally nocturnal. I work night shift for years 7 p.m to 7 a.m so we're uh, what we're gonna do down here is just do an edge stitch just make sure you don't sew the two sides together y'all because <laughs> i know you're gonna end up doing that all right make sure you hang on to your both sides of your thread because it'll go flying if you don't On your first yeah, just like close to the edge. Don't make it like super big or anything. Just kind of carefully. Be careful, don't sew the other side. She's not saying it up. Because ice storm is also a perfect set when you're under 50%. What's that? Oh, yeah, yeah. 
Alrighty. Now I have to do the other side as well. You just kind of do one side, then the other. So you have this edge stitch right here. So it's kind of like, a, yeah, an edge stitch. You stitch it on the edge. <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it. Um, and then you do the same thing on the other side. I guess you could high hand sew it too if you wanted. You know, you just gotta, it's just gonna take you a little bit more time. But if you can sew with a needle and a thread, you certainly can do that as well. But if you've got a, an aunt, a parent, a grandparent, whoever, a friend that can sew, you need to be making friends with somebody or you could, you know, you took clothing class in high school. I sure did. Oops. Make sure you always do the backup because otherwise it will like run. Okay, dokie. Yay! We got an edge stitch all the way around, okay? Yeah, the N95 is supposed to be um, single use. I know it sucks. Okay, bye, Belinda. See you later. Have you been able to get what? I don't understand what we're, we're looking for. TP, yes. Yes, I bought TP today. We got TP. We got a stash of TP now. Not stash, but enough. So Walmart had it today. My Walmart's been getting it every now and again. Last time we went out, we got nothing. So, yeah, I'm not really selling them. I know the double cam is good. Okay, good, good. All right, cool. So we did the edge stitch. I just want to make sure you guys can see that because it's très importante to see the little itty bitty details of the edge stitch right there on the edge. Yes. Okay. So once we're done with that, the next thing we're gonna do is easy. Yeah. I'm out of stamina. Put seam with a whole half inch down. So we're gonna fold this. What we're gonna do is we're going to fold, you know, there's the hole right there. So we're gonna fold it down now. That's gonna be the, oh, shenanigans. I'm gonna try to show you what it is like on the end product. Don't oh, mind mama. Right, Riley, Ray. All right. My backdrop is my bar, how appropriate. Um, it's gonna be this part right here that's gonna be folded down. So what I was gonna do is make this bigger, a little bit, the fold down part, a little bit bigger because I think we're gonna double up the, I'm gonna put in this part, like the double, the double um, pipe cleaner. Cause I think it adds a little something, like it's a little bit more stiff. I don't know, I think this just doesn't have a lot of give, the floral wire, but you certainly can use that if you would like. Because it does the nose really well, but it doesn't quite bend to your cheek. I guess you'll have to help it along, but you can. Um, you know, you want to make sure, like, it's tight also around not just your nose, but your cheek as well, like, right here also. So you can use that floral wire. Floral wire at the dollar store. I got this in a Dollar Tree. But it's pretty tight. The main thing, every time you put it on, though, it doesn't mean it's set. It's set, but just make sure... Like your like it is set to your nose. You're gonna have to tighten it every single time. I mean, this is a little bit stiffer, so you might want to do that instead. Entirely up to you. If you don't want it that hard on your nose, then maybe do this because it's gonna be a little bit oh, no. Yeah, my backdrop. <laughs> it's her little tiny bar. Little tiny tiny bar. Yep. Awesome. What if you use a store face mask more than once? It's not meant to be used more than once, you know. Oh, you got TP a big lot. Yes. Awesome. That's good. Yeah, the weather's been crazy here too, y'all. It's back up to being hot. Like we're done with a cold front. It's hot again. 87 degrees. But 
you know, this might be our new normal. Like before we come back, I think they, you know, they may take our temperature at the parks. We don't know. So I'm just saying, <laughs> I mean, sure as you're taking your temperature, you just might have to do that. Um, yeah, we'll do another fun stream tomorrow. We'll do something fun. Like I was going to show you guys how to make some cocktails tomorrow. We're going to do some like knockoff or how to do it at home, like homecoming cocktails. So I'm going to teach you guys a couple of things that, um, that you can make from your home that are Disney cocktails. So speci specifically homecoming ones. So serving drinks. Yes, today, not tonight, but tomorrow we will. Um, we bought some, you know, stuff today so I can show you guys what to do. Um, we're going to make the Memphis Bell and the um, Apple Pie a la mode. So um, I made my own simple syrup tonight, which is just half water, half boiling water, half sugar. But I used um, the erythritol, like the sugar substitute. So it's still like as keto as I can make it. And then fresh lime juice, and you're gonna need fresh lemon juice. So, and strawberries, you're gonna need that. So, we'll do those tomorrow, and then we'll do like trivia tomorrow because that'll be fun. You guys enjoy that. Um, we'll start a little bit earlier than 10 o'clock at night, seriously, right? But <laughs> this is a nighttime project. If you can't go sleepy night, night, this is the time to do it. Just do a project, might as well. So, you just fold it. I use my curling iron. I'm telling you, I use this sucker for everything. It just makes it easy. It's easier than an ironing board. And if you're, you're sewing, you're ironing little tiny pieces. So, this was like a cheap, like five below curling iron that I got long ago. It's not, I don't use it for my hair anymore, obviously. <laughs> All right. So, we're going to fold it about an inch down. like an envelope like that. So we're gonna fold it like so. So you're gonna take this, right? Trying to make sure we're centered. Nope, this way. Yeah, and then you're going to fold it like that. Yeah? All right, and then you can get a pin because you're not gonna sew this metal part. It's gotta stay open because that's where our stuff is gonna go. And Creative uses for curl and irons, I'm telling you. Oh, so like a little envelope. So it's like a little envelope, right? And you're just gonna fold that like over the top. Just, okay. Might make it a little bit bigger. It probably needs to be about an inch. Cause we're gonna open this. If you can see it, like make it about an inch. Cause that's the, what I wanted to fix on this go around versus that other one. You get better and better the more you do it. And then the more I do it, the more I want to tweak stuff just because it works better. So I would do about an inch, not a half inch. It says half an inch. So we're going to fold it like about an inch, like so. You can measure it if you want. Like if you are like notorious and you want it to be like perfect, you can measure it to like about an inch, like an envelope or just folding it like an envelope, like so. So I'd probably make it a little bit bigger like an inch because we want to save room if we're going to double up the pipe cleaners because i think double works better and it's just more comfortable on your nose but two is probably better than one but make sure you have room for two so we're going to make it slightly bigger because it says half an inch or three quarters we're going to go a full inch bigger that way it can fit the pocket will be bigger You can use a regular iron too. It doesn't have to be a curling iron. Jen's just getting creative with what she got. You right, gotta do you, boo boo. You gotta do you. Disney drinks, recipes, yes, girl. Um, it increases oh, it's hair. keeping purple a little bit. It's like a silvery purple. I know the hair just needs to grow. I might do pink next. So 
I matched with Riley Ray. We just matched right now. Um, thanks. I like it. It's hanging tough. All right. So you're going to sew an eighth of an inch all the way around the whole thing now. So what we're going to do, you fold it down. You're not going to sew this part. You're just going to sew the edges. So we're going to go here all the way around, okay, leaving the little flappy McClapperton open. Jess, yes? We're going to sew like this all the way around. You're going to leave this. Don't touch that because that's your envelope. So put a little pin through there if it really floats your boat. So that works. Okie dokie. We're almost done. Only a few more steps ish. We're almost done ish. I'm trying to do this as slow as I can. So you're gonna go here. So how's everyone doing? Are we keeping sane? Is everybody like hanging in there? Hopefully everybody's doing well. I miss seeing you guys every single day. I really, really do. I had a big old migraine yesterday. I was gonna do this stream yesterday, but I literally could not leave my bed all day. Cause you just gotta go sleepy night night sometimes in like the dark like a vampire. You're like, photophobia. <laughs> it's too bright. You ever had a migraine, you know how it is. You got the sewing machine working? Woo, go Emery, go Emery. All the boys that can sew, it's so crazy. Did we use the same for a week? Ooh, no ma'am, Pam, really? Raphael, no. Yeah, people have been saying that. You can use the same one for a week. You gotta sew three of these, then you rotate them out. No, once they're wet, the paper mess, once they're wet, they're no good, sweetie. They're no good to you. I mean, better than nothing, I guess, but um, you really shouldn't. That's crazy. Because you're going to get it wet just from breathing. You know what I mean? So, hey, Emery, how you doing? You're so, you broke your sewing machine out too. Yeah, this, this old singer is like Jurassic. Rob's had it forever, but it's so many, 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 many a cosplay costume. Darkwing Duck, Jedi Darkwing, you know it. If we can sew those costumes, we can certainly sew a couple of masks with this baby, you know? It's never too, um, Scott taught himself how to use a sewing machine. You can teach yourself anything, really. It's not, I took clothing in class my freshman, freshman year of high school because, like, I had to take a home ec elective or whatever. I already knew how to cook, so I wasn't going to take cooking. So I took sewing so I could make cute little itty-bitty mini skirts because that's what I made. What is, what is weapon meter game right now? What's your weapon meter? Is that for your special? Um, Oh, I'm breaking things. Because it's thick. Bread getting stuck everywhere. I know I saw um, a tutorial that I watched with the nurses in Oklahoma. So if any of you guys, um, if, oh, I don't use, I don't need a full face shield. I use my goggles, you know, where um, if you have like, you could buy, I don't know if you can even buy goggles anymore on, um, you can go to like the sporting goods store. You can go to Lowe's or Home Depot. I think they're fairly out of them. But you can use, like, I kind of use my sunglasses. I don't do both. Oh, my gosh. Can you imagine at the store if you did both face shields? You can. Face shields are basically just, like, foam rubber, elastic, and then you just got to buy that, like, plastic piece on your face. But, like, if you have this mask, I would just use your goggles. So I have, um, these are, like, shooting goggles or, like, they're the same grade as, like, um, 
for the hospital, for labs or school or anything. So if you have like goggles, like for the shop, shop class, or you have a garage, you're doing projects, anything like that you could use. So you can use that or I just use my sunglasses. Um, I would just do like the eye shield. You can even get swimming goggles. I heard people are doing that, but you know, as long as it's rated, because then you can just spray that like with Lysol or Clorox wipes after you're done with this um, and let it air dry for like four minutes, like spray it down, let it air dry, don't touch it, you know, that kind of thing. So you could do that too. Um, headaches, no, I, I have a history of migraines. Like that's my history. It's because I'm cutting back sugar again since we're back on keto. So that's probably why. I don't know. My body needs sugar all the time. <laughs> it's it's not getting the sugar that it wants so and that might be part of it it always is like day four i told you by day four or five it will be crazy so you know that's probably what it was so it's all right it's fine now if that's the worst of my keto flu i'll take it thanks <laughs> is a migraine it keeps getting stuck right there i don't know why it keeps doing that I'm gonna start it a little further up. Maybe go this way. It's very crazy. It's a little thick there with the fold, so. I mean, what am I doing wrong? It does not like me right here I sewed the other side just fine no, the bobbin's good It keeps getting stuck, honey. I don't know what I'm going on. That's the hardest part, is threading the sucker in the dark. I'm going to borrow my test piece of fabric here, see why it's being all crazy. Technical difficulties in anything. Just have your little test fabric around just in case you gotta troubleshoot something. Sometimes it just gets crazy on me. What does that fucking ball do? I think it's too thick. I don't know what it's doing. a little on the thicker side all right done Whew. I like the last inch was getting me a hard time cool beans all right now that is done so you gotta seam all the way around yeah I checked the bobbin it wasn't that it came loose <laughs> so making sure Scott's ready doing great um uh, Bring a stormtrooper sweet. Oh, well, there you go. You can wear your stormtrooper outfit too. If that is that what work, that's what works. It works, I guess. Thank you. Hey Scott, how you doing? 
The fields are a hit in the Philippines. It's DIY. Faster to make wearing masks with goggles. Looks funny there. Really? Oh, okay. Cool. Nice. All right. Yep. The face shields are easier to breathe, too, but I like having the face mask. I feel like I'm doing something, like, to protect myself. You know, yeah, here, we just, we're, we just look like, we look like we're going to rob a bank or something. I don't know. We got the glasses or just your sunglasses and then this on. Whatever works. And and the face shield on top of it, that's super good. Like, double it up. Yeah, I'll go look, see if I can find a DIY face shield, if I can find foam and elastic again. But maybe I could use the bungee that I got for the face shield. A DIY face shield should not be hard, huh, honey? I think we can do it. All right. So... The next thing we're going to do is the pipe cleaner, but I showed you guys that already. Like, it's like a seven and a half piece, but you're just going to turn the ends with your pliers like this. Um, you're just going to, like, turn it so it doesn't have, like, it's, like, not pokey. It doesn't hurt. So just squish it down. Make sure the ends are, like, you know, not poking you. Same thing on this side. Like so. I mean, I have a plethora of them. You could just put two pieces if you want, honestly. So, yeah. I would double it up. You need two pieces. So that's the next step is making sure that's all good. Or maybe I'll make this one with the wire hanger. The wire hanger is a little bit more um, form-fitting. Is the word I guess that I'm looking for. Alrighty, so now we did that. We're gonna have to sandwich it in the seam here. So you've got the seam, right? What is, what, what is that? Yes, you that have mean? this. So you're gonna open it now that you have your little sandwich bag here. After sprinting. So I made this bigger. This is this part. So you're going to open it. And you're going to fold it in half. Like that. And then you're just going to stick this in there. So you're going to sandwich that in between. Which I do do frequently. Like when we were fighting. I'll put my weapons away so that I can run around. Oh, yeah. oh, good. That's going to be up. Oh, yeah, there it is. All right, it's going to form it back up. You can keep it straight for now because yeah, I guess you can. Might be a smidge too long. Hang on. It's a smidge too long. I gotta cut the ends off a little bit. There are two. I'm gonna try the floral wire with this one because it might work better, but um, we need to just curl the edges, same thing, so they're not like pokey. Now, with your with your weapon up there, can you put any cell in there that you want? Is that what the star is? Okay. <laughs> So it might be worth it just to, uh, to get the. Uh, you can use a piece of a wire uh, hanger if you don't have floral wire. Whatever works. There you go. I kind of bent this to my nose already. <laughs> so I might have to straighten it out a little bit because we're going to have to sew it. So. I'd have to do it one more time, actually. It might be a little too long. Like that. It's not the prettiest, but it'll have to do.
I think that this will work better because it's stiffer. I've had all the other ones I've made have the um, pipe cleaner in it. I guess you could put three pipe cleaners in there too. And then you could form it if that's what you want to do, if you want to use the floral wire. But you're going to keep it straight for now because you're going to put it in this pocket over here. So you're going to insert this into the pocket like right through here. Okay, and you want to just sandwich it in between like so because you're going to sew this um, right here. So you just want to make sure like you're going to sandwich it. Don't sew it like make sure you, you're you going to sew it all the way across this way and all the way across that way. And then this will just end up being your pocket. Okay, so whatever you're going to use, you're going to put it in this pocket right up here. So whether it be wire or your craft room, aw, does it look good? Aw, miss you too, Disney Mitch. And then I'll show you how to do it with the with the pipe cleaners because this honestly is the cheapest, easiest way to do it. We'll try to do it with I don't know, they're seven and a half inches each. That's the the measurement. I do four. I want to just experimentation is the key. <laughs> They're cheap. You could buy a whole bunch of these and do four. I, I can fit four in there because um, you could just twirl them all together. Where is the measurement? So we're going to measure seven and a half. Again, oh, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, seven and a half right here. So like right about there. I'm telling you, these Cutco scissors, not sponsored, but it's the best thing Rob got for me at Food and Wine last year. Love these scissors. I've never, you're never going to need another pair of scissors ever again. They're just that good. They cut everything. They can cut through a penny. That's the demonstration they do at Disney. So I did four this time. And you just curl all the ends together. Oop, I'm missing it. Oh, you can see it. Okay. Curl all the ends together. That way you don't have any sharp edges and you don't hurt yourself. Pokey, pokey, pokey. And then same thing with these four. I think four will be good. Plus they got the little fluffy things on them. You know, whatever you want to use, floral wire or pipe cleaners. I have a, a hundred million pipe cleaners, so I might as well use them. I have them in different colors, too, which is kind of crazy. So, yep. Yeah. Just kind of hold them together. It's going to look like that. Weird. And then you just stick it through your pocket again. And I'll open it right here, and it's through this top pocket. You're going to insert it through the top pocket. And then the top pocket, pocket over here. Make sure it's centered so you're not like crooked on one side. You want to make sure it forms a V. So you're going to need it to go across your nose and around your cheek. Even It's going to be longer. It's going to be like to here. You want it to form fit your nose. And when you put it on, you're going to press here and then press all the way across. Um, so now it's there. You're going to sandwich it like a sandwich. You're going to fold it like so. See? And then we're just going to close it up. So let's put a um, pin right there. Actually, I'm going to pin it like there so I have room to sew it. Okay, you're going to like sandwich it like so. Can you guys see that? You're sandwiching it. So now you're going to sew that sucker shut. I 
always so two different color thread. Call me crazy. It's just so I know which is the top, which is the bottom. So I got purple and pink thread. Don't mind me, that's what we had. And uh, yep, the bottom thread. Yep, it's there. All right, I wanted to make sure. It's kind of hard to see at night, you know? It just is a struggle. Struggle bus at night. I always make sure you tuck the thread on the other side of the presser foot. This is called a presser foot. If you like anatomy of the sewing machine, this is a presser foot. So you go open it up right so. Make sure you don't sew your other, you know, leave, leave that pocket open. You're just kind of sandwiching it. So just put it down like right about there. Too close to the edge, I think. You're literally just putting another edge stitch exactly where you had the other edge stitch, the one that we sewed before this. So you're just Putting another edge stitch on top of the edge stitch you already had. Like follow that edge stitch. You're just making, you know, you're sealing the pocket of where your pipe cleaners are. See, you already had this edge stitch right here. You're just following that again. That feels very sturdy with four. Holy cow. Okay. <laughs> it's so fluffy. All righty. All right. So that's done. You've got the little pocket. And then you've got your pipe cleaner in there already. And this is what it looks like up close and personal. Now you can see it, but that seam is still here. Oh, she did. <laughs> you might have to do not sew the pocket shut like Jen just did. Ah, uh, we're gonna have to seam rip that. You know, she did. She sealed it shut. I thought I was holding it, but apparently it wasn't. Hang on. Just sewed a little bit of it shut. There it is. Woo. Okay. We still have her hole. <laughs> you want to make sure you keep the hole in there for your filter. You don't need it to be very big, but you want to be able to get it in there. So that's still there. And then now you have this for your nose. So I'm going to have to sew that up again. That'll work. All right. And then what do we need to do? Sew pleats on either side. Okay. So this, we're going to just put a little edge stitch on to finish it up. So it looks like a, what do you call it? Like a tissue paper thing. I sewed it shut. That's Jen's fault. <laughs> All righty.
another edge stitch around. Hey, Zach. So it's like they're like a curtain rod. Yes, ma'am, for sure. You got it. All right, so now it's going to look like this. We're going to just put another edge stitch down the side. So now they're, your your pipe cleaners are in here, like a, like a little pocket, and we're just going to finish this up with an edge stitch because it needs one. This is like to me the most time consuming part is like the little bitty edges. Like I don't think it's hard, it's just time consuming. But anything good takes time. <laughs> I sewed it too close to the edge. All right. Oh, I mean, like, maybe probably we need to. I don't know what the other stuff is. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, I think you can probably just leave it. It's fine. I think having the edge stitch will be better though. Just a little tiny bit, like right there. That'll make it look cleaner. Tedious, it is. A little bit, a little bit. <laughs> All right, so now you got an edge stitch here and an edge stitch here. So it looks much better and more clean cut. So it's in there like a curtain rod. Yes, ma'am. It's in there. So you just get a... You can wiggle it around, work it in straight. Like if it's in there crooked, you can just straighten it out. Like a, you know, it's like fixing your pillowcase. You just want to straighten it out, make sure it's in there good, but it's in that little pocket. So your, your pipe cleaners are in here now. And then you have your little pocket in the back still that you can put your filter in. Yes? All righty. Now the fun begins. It's Sunday in Florida now. Yes, it is midnight. Sorry. I know. Good night, Reese PC. You have a good time. Sleepy, sleepy night, night. We'll see you tomorrow. Hey, Doctor Who. 23rd day of lockdown. Ours is like 20, 21 days now. Tomorrow's 21 days. <laughs> it's been three weeks since Disney closed, but who's counting? Not I. All right. <laughs> Not at all. So. Um, how to fix the boo boo? What am I fixing? You can hide a ten dollar barrel in there. Hey, honey, Anna, you could be like, money. The money's dirty, girl. I shouldn't be doing that. I like the pattern that you're doing. Awesome, Lisa. Yeah, this is fairly easy. So you're gonna, you're not sewing machines. Yeah, it's easy to learn. I would have. Yes. Good night, Daniel. I know it's late. Everybody will watch it on the replay when they're awake. They're like, I can't sew this late, Jen. It's sleepy night night time. So good night, y'all. If you're going at sleepy night night, follow my night owls. We're hanging. We're still here. Make sure you guys give us a thumbs up if you haven't already. Please subscribe. Share the stream out if you haven't already. We're going to be doing some crafting and other things. So we'll de de definitely do another stream tomorrow. I'll go ahead and plan that out as soon as this is done. We'll do something fun and do more Disney trivia or something. Cocktails and Disney trivia tomorrow. I think you'll like that. All right. Now the fun part is making the pleats. I like to make pleats. And I cannot lie. It's really fun. <laughs> so go on the front part and just like you're going to sew the pleats. So we're going to mark them up like this. You're going to make like two or three pleats. 
So I like to have like that yay big pleat on the front because obviously that's the front of your mask. So you got blue bear right there. So right between blue and like Captain Hook, that's going to be like the front of your mask. Try to jiggle it straight. Make sure it's straight. Make sure your seams are not all ish kabibbled everywhere. This is when your curling iron will come in handy, y'all. I mean, crazy as it seems, it works. Because you're trying to keep those pleats looking like crisp and cute. Having the pleats helps it to be more fitted to your face. Because it's very important. Wash your hands, don't touch your face. So you go like so. I'm just kind of marking up the pleats that way. That's pleat number one. Such a big pleat though in the front. So you're gonna make like three pleats. You have to take. I do it backwards. I just gotta do it this way. It's just easier for me to do. Making pleats, making pleats. I'm telling you, creative uses for curling irons. A nose piece, there is a nose piece. Um, in here, this is the the pipe cleaners are on the are inside already. Yeah, my nails are still on. <laughs> hey, Jason, who's that? Oh, we will. Stormy Stitch. Oh, well, sewing mess her family. Oh, I'm missing too. I'm glad you guys are sewing. Awesome. Okay. You're a night sleeper. Okay, good, good. You can't find masks anywhere. Oh, no, you're not supposed to be buying masks anyway. Like, leave that for the medical professionals. We're all, yeah, it's still pretty good. It's not grown out either, look. It's still good, and the dip nails, and I don't quite need a fill yet. Another week, Mama's going to need a fill. We're going to have to, like, find somebody that will come to your house to do your nails. Where's Alina when we need her, right? My sister-in-law is a nail tech, but she lives all the way in South Florida, so what can you do? Running around with bad nails. Yeah, they're they're dip nails though, so they work pretty good. I like the little SNS, SNS nails or whatever they're called. Oh look how cute the back is. We've got Alice in Wonderland on the back. So cute. Yeah, the back is more adorable. Should have made the back the front. Because that's the cuter side. But we got Baloo and then we got Cinderella and Baloo Bear and Captain Hook on this side. Yes, we'll be back on house party in just a minute. Or here, you know what? I can I can add you guys. 
Give me una momento, and you guys, we can add you to the party since you can help me entertain people. <laughs> oh, my God. Give me one minute. We'll add them to it. Where's Peter? Peter! Oh, what? Y'all have to put clothes on if you're going to be on stream. Just saying. <laughs> oh, come on. Ah, don't be running wild. Where's our oh, no. Did I not oh, send the right up. link? That should be the link. Oh, did I send you the wrong link? No, nope, I did. I didn't send you the right link. Here, I'm going to do it over here. All right. I didn't do it right. There we go. I'm sending the link to y'all so you uh, can join in the fun. Just make sure everybody's decent and have clothes on. <laughs> oh, where's Nat Nat? Natalie! All right, I sent you all the links. Let me know when you're backstage. I should be able to see you guys very soon. Hey, hey Liz, how you doing? doing? Okay. Got it. All right, I sent you the link, Mitch, if you wanted to, to join the party. I've got you guys on there. I don't know who else is still awake. I know Mitch is still up. Yeah, I did. Hey, Destiny, how you doing? I did lose a camera because I'm trying to send the invite out really quick. I think we're good now. I don't see anybody else on there, but I did send them the link. Okay, I sent you guys the link if you need it. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to go back to doing what I'm doing. We're still making pleats. We're still making pleats. I don't see anybody backstage. Okay. Aw, I know you guys are up late. Sorry, I'm such a nocturnal animal now. It's crazy.
and one more plate, I think, should be good. And I'm all in one fell swoop. One. There's one more. There we go. There's a way, dude. You totally just ran around the corner and tried to hit me. Ran around the corner. Oh, there's Mitch. Isn't it Mitch? Hey, girl. I'm going to try to make it that one better. Nope. Yeah, is that better ish? Or not the other way, I think. Hang on, I'm going to. I'm trying to switch it so that's the main, but it's not doing it. That's fine. That'll have to do. <laughs> All right. I know Disney Mitch would still be up. They're hey. Back. Peter wants Sleepy Night Night? Probably. Hey, he oh, hey Heather, are you still up too? Woo -woo. All the late night fun. Here, hang on, girl. I can send oh, yeah, you the... Some emporium, baby. If you want to send Heather the link... Oh, I found Mr. Scott. There he is. He's sewing too. We are the lean mean sewing machine. Hello. Nope, nope, nope. Mm. Trying to find the best. Mitch is just this way, right? You're not like big ways. You're vertical. It's fine. <laughs> okay, as long as you can see everybody. I'm vertical? Yes, I'm vertical. You are, you're vertical. That's why you're, not. I'm like, why is it not wide? Am I losing it? All right, we made little pleats for a little mask. Oh, Heather's here. Hey, Heather. This is like the simple, simplest one that I could find that I like. I don't know. They could be less simple, but this is more like a surgical style mask, I guess. Use your curling iron not to do your hair, but to do your pleats. All right. You just need it to be able to stay like this for like a hot minute because you're going to sew this. Hello, okay. Rosalie. So we'll do it. Okie dokie. Just gonna iron the ends. <laughs> it's like ironing your curl, ironing your ends, like so. There we go. So the pleats kind of stay. I've got a pin in there too. So we're just gonna run one stitch all the way across. Thank you, Rosalie. Yes, I did. <laughs> I like to be different. Okay. Why did I bring you? Well, Pammy, um, we were evacuating from Hawaii, so. Take this off. Who else is there? I got Nat Nat. All right. There we go. Everybody's joining the party. Nat Nat. Well, I don't have one either, so. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. funny and you need a sewing machine so bad. Hey, yeah. Natalie. Join. Send it to Heather. Send it to Heather. I forgot. I'm sorry. I didn't think you were still up, girl. I wouldn't send it to you. All right. 
They're bringing the house party into the stream. Ruby, I am. I'm making masks for um, people and my daughter at the nursing home. So. Okay, okay. We're moving along. Moving along. So, yeah, Scott's sewing too. We are sewing. I made this one a lot smaller than the last one. <laughs> but the other one's kind of big on me. So I'm going to have me in, in my glasses. Earl and iron. Oh, you look you look all professional, Mitch. You Thanks. look good, buddy. Thanks, brother. Is it being weird again? Okay. Awesome running buddy Matt. Okay, this is really weird. <laughs> I think I need to turn this up a little. There we go. Now I can hear you guys a little bit through there. Yeah, got a. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> huh? Ooh, look at you wearing the merch. Like it for you. <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying to move it and not have feedback, but what am I going to do? It's doing it. Trying to keep this camera close to the sewing machine. All right. Let's see what now. There we go. Now we did this side, and we're going to sew the other side. Same thing. <laughs> Different day. Because today is now Sunday. Happy Sunday, everyone. Oy, oy, oy. And now it's like the struggle is real. It is a little bit of a project, but I know a lot of you guys have been sewing and making them for not just yourselves, but you can donate them to your local hospitals or medical facilities. <laughs> Um, um, like a lot of them want to be Oh, okay. I'm breaking things. What else is in? Yes, I do know how to sew. I've been sewing for how long now, Jen? I don't know. Two days? Two days. Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay. The later it gets, the worse my sewing gets. She's tired. Oh, yep, I knew it missed me. Oh. Am I out of bobbin thread? Oh, thread. But let's go check the bobbin. Oh, bobbin gone wild. Yeah. yeah, I can't sew either. I mean, I don't have a sewing machine, so. Where is my bobbin going go? You know, two of them in here. I had one ready to go. There it is. Got it. I had put one on the here so it was ready to roll. Yeah. So this is a bobbin, if nobody knows what it is. It's the thing that goes on the bottom. <laughs> and then you make sure you grab it and loop it through the hickey right there and then through. Okay, now you gotta stick it back in the machine. Okay. 
And then you grab the top and just try to loop it. I used to know how to use a sewing machine. You don't? Couldn't use one now, even if I wanted to. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I gotta stick a bobbin back in. I'm a little rusty because that's been years since I don't, I used to do it more when I used to sew a lot of ears. But you might have to get back into the ear business at this point. There we go. We just gotta hook the bobbin thread through. I hope you saw that. <laughs> Sewing 101. We're back to the basics, people. Back to the basics. Oh. We didn't finish all the way through because it lost thread. <laughs> yeah, they want them don donated here too. Huh? What did you say? Everywhere. Mm -hmm. yeah. If people can make them, that's. They want them delivered to the hospital for the healthcare worker. Yeah. Oh, that's so cute, Ruby. Yes. Oh, that's awesome, Jonathan. Yeah, I put it in the description box. That's why there's something. It's this is a just a plain surgical style mask that you can make yourself or. Once you can donate to medical facilities. Um, the other mask that we're going to make next is an open mask. And that one I have a pattern. And I will link all of that um, with you guys. I talked about in the beginning of the stream. So I will link this stuff for the next mask we're going to make. This one has a pattern and everything. So, like, it'll, you can download all of this stuff. Um, it's from the Unity Point Health Hospital in Oklahoma. So this is the one that they want donated to their hospital specifically because it's named after um, Nurse Olson. She designed this mask. So that's why it's an Olson mask. This is her pattern. And um, there's a way to do it. It's double-sided as well. And then you can use it elastic also and then you can put a filter also but this is the one that they were able to actually use a double-sided tape and get fit tested and it came out they passed the fit test so they have their own video um i'll link it in the description box for that stream because we're going to make that mess next these are just the the easy ones that you're seeing all over the interwebs but this one is the surgical style mask the one that you tie. These are good for the stove. <laughs> you know, it's just, but I would use double sided tape for both. Order it on Amazon now while well, you still can before it's gone forever. All right, so now your cleats are done. You sewed the cleats. Looks like that. It's starting to look like a mask. It's got the cleats on it. And with the CDC coming out with the recommendation yesterday, Jen. Yeah, I did put it in the description box below yeah. based on the CD. If you're going to buy the stuff, I suggest tomorrow. Yeah. Because people are going to be going and buying it up. Yeah, because they put a, a tutorial. Like it's a, the Surgeon General as well was showing everybody how to make a mask. Um, yeah, the Olsen is the one with the point on the nose. The Olsen looks. I printed it out in color for y'all. Yeah. Yeah, that's the Olsen mask right there. Yeah, it's more pointy on the nose. Yeah, it's it looks like that. It's just a square. Yeah. But yeah, I'm gonna make that one tomorrow. I have a bunch of these, but I have the, like the same. It has a pattern. That one's really easy, and I will link the description and the link um, below. We could do this one tomorrow. This one is another one that you could use. 
the key is order the double-sided body tape like for skin make sure you buy double-sided tape for skin on amazon now um make sure it's the one that's in a roll like a roll of tape not the one that strips so because i guarantee it's going to be gone if you don't buy it now because people are going to be buying it up just like they have everything else all right so your two pieces of bias material or if you want to use like a contrasting color you can this one matches i just cut it to match the fat or you match the design or whatever but if you want to use a different bias material like you want to use a solid color you can customize it to your own leisure i could have done yellow on this it would be super cute um yeah i don't know what color bias tape we should use but for this exercise we're just going to use the same color bias tape so what we're gonna do is now use this side and you're gonna put it to one of the ends. Correct side to correct side, okay? So it's gonna be kind of hanging off the edges a little bit. Like you see, there's gonna be like a little quarter inch on each side, that's what you want. So you're gonna sew this across, just straight across. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right, so you got you just pin the bias pieces. I should probably cut a yellow bias piece for this. It will be cuter. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like still trying to decide what color bias tape I want to use for this. Yellow would be really cute if I had yellow. Did I buy yellow? I think I bought red. I bought a whole bunch of bias tape because it's tight and that's what I like. Um, here's the bungee material that I found that you might want to use also. It's just bungee cord. It was $3 for 15 feet. This is another one that you can use. It's like hair elastic, basically. Um, you can use that if you want. I did not like it. I prefer the bias tape. I, I want hey, Jen, tight. Pam was, was asking what to order from Amazon. Uh, you can order the tape. Yeah. The tape, the double-sided tape. Look at the bottom. Oh, thanks, Heather. Look at the description box is everything you need. And I, I, I believe I wrote there the double-sided tape from Amazon. It's listed on the description box. You can be buying tape from Amazon as well, too. And I have the back of the It's all in there. We double-checked it today. Um before we came live. So Mitch was checking everything for us to make sure, um, yeah, he's not there right now, but he checked, we checked everything online to make sure it was still on Amazon. You can buy bias tape at Walmart. They had a ton of these at Walmart. So that's where I got that from. I'll use the purple for that. That'd be cute. Um, I was gonna use it for my haunted mansion one too. I could do baby blue. I should have bought yellow, but I didn't. Purple is good, or I could do baby blue, or red, whatever works. I have pink, but there's nothing pink on there. I could do the blue. The blue might work too. Who knows? There's so many colors, and there's the green too. Hmm. Maybe the blue might work. Save the purple for the villains one. Okay. Back to regularly scheduled programming. I really, I really should have just vlogged this. It'll be quicker if I do, but I figured you'd enjoy a live just because I haven't chit-chatted and seen you guys in a hot minute. You could buy all of it online. The double-sided tape is on the bottom. Um, everything you need is listed in the description box. Pins, scissors, pliers. I was able to find all of the this at Walmart. They had this in the crafting section. They don't have a run on bias tape yet. A safety pin, just one. Pins and pliers and scissors you should have in your house. Um, 
you know, oh, I have two kinds of purple. Ooh. I think that Alice and my, oh, you're not going to see that on that side. Maybe the pink or the blue would work cute. Surely there's pink on the front. Yeah, we can do pink. Or baby blue. That's cute too. Yeah, that would be cute, Heather. I have the baby blue. You can buy whatever color bias tape floats your boat or what they have. They had a lot. So, Pam, this is the uh, at least I had a lot of filters that I'm using, but I bought them. Uh, I bought them at Men Arms. Yeah, the HEPA so, filter. There you go, Scott. And has the reason why. See how it says 0.3 microns? Yeah, and then any so. five minutes is 0.3. So if it's a HEPA filter bag, it should be 0.3 microns because all the HEPAs are 0.3. Have so, a good night, Lance. It was great seeing you today, man. No bags either. Good night, Lance. Your Joanne's is closed. Really? Ours is yeah, Joanne's is still open up here in Michigan. Ours is still open, probably but, tomorrow. But Michael's and Hobby Lobby are closed. Yeah, I went to Hobby Lobby the other day because I was. Well, but I'm wondering now if because of the CDC's thing, is if this next week if they don't reopen it, Jen, you know. Yeah, because um, you're gonna need to buy supplies at this point. People are gonna need materials to make masks, so. Right. They have Hobby Lobby has a tutorial. I watched theirs to make the same exact mask that we're making tonight. A lot of people have made this mask. So, you know, this is just the how long it takes. And I'm not, I mean, I can sew, but I'm not that experienced. It does take a long time to make a mask. Hello, Heather. Hello. If I just, like, work and not open my mask, I'm sure I can get it done in, like, 45 minutes to an hour if I was just concentrating. But I'm here chit-chatting with y'all. That's the fun one. So maybe Monday we'll do the um, the Olsen. If you guys want to do the Olsen mask on Monday, whichever one. I would make one of each or two of each. See which one works better. But the Olsen mask was the one that they were able to make. Um, they were able to make... Um, Pass the fit test. Oh, I need to see. See, I didn't sew it like enough. I need to go a little further in. I'm a little too far out. So we're going to do one more seam through. That was too close to an edge. So let's make it more like a quarter or a half an inch. Sorry, allergy. My nose are itch it's uh -huh. itching like there's nobody's business. I need to go take my itchy medicine. Been locked in this house. And that's what I was talking about today, too. I need to, I forgot after we left was to change my AC, to buy an AC filter, but I don't know what my AC filter is because that's the other recommendation of like there in the news is to also change your AC filter. If you haven't already, you need to go do that like now just because that'll help, you know, if it's clean, at least keep filter things out too. get a HEPA filter for your house, for your air conditioning. It's probably time. All right. So we got one side done. We'll do the other side as well. We can clean it all up later so it's not all wild and crazy. Um, so this side as well. Oh, is that flubber? I love leather. And if you're really good at it, you can, yeah, donate these masks. So we're cranking out a bunch of them, but. You know, make sure you make a couple for you and your family first. That way you have it for when you go to the store or doctor's appointments or whatever you need to go out. You're, you're going to eventually have to leave the house for something, whether you want to or not. I guess it's better to be prepared. Um, also, see if you can find gloves online. Um, 
our Costco, you know, we were able to find gloves at Costco. I mean, check everywhere, Walmart, you name it. Some guy was even wearing dishwashing gloves, so why not, you know? Hi, Heidi. Yes, they'll give you the, the oh the pickup at Walmart. They will still do that. Hey, Sergey. Yeah, Pam, I'll do that. I'll send you a picture of that. The also thing, Jen, is how you said about the rubber gloves, like the the yellow kitchen gloves or whatever. Um, what um, I read an article today too that those are great. The only thing is, is when you get home, um, wash them in soap and water, and then you can keep a pan with um, a cup of of water with um, um, a tablespoon of bleach and rinse it. And then let them dry, and you can reuse them. So yes. Oh. Thank you, Lisa. Yeah, it, it is a hot minute to make the mask. Like we made this the other night too, but we were talking in between. I don't know how to turn this down. I, it was off. I mean, Jen is way faster than me. It takes me an hour and a half to two hours to uh, to be able to use it. So. Uh -oh, I shut off the camera. Dang it, she broke it again. What, what did she just do? I turned off the... Hang on, we lost the camera. The struggle is real with this thing today. She's got to break it. I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> There we go. Let's not break it. She broke the other camera. Hang on. It's like. There we go. I lost you again. Give me a second. I'm trying to get the third camera back up. Or a second camera back up. Sometimes the signal just goes out. That's why. I need 30 to get Wizard to 10. I need 40 to get Dawnstar to 10. So that's 70. I need Here we go. How's the weather, Sergey? Yeah, people are using minimal micron rating for the filter material 0 0.03 microns. Yeah, Scott got it at his Menards, at his grocery store. Um, I would check where you get vacuum bags, Pam. Um, I have hospital grade surgical wrap. That's what I have for my filter. So this is surgical wrap that you wrap instruments with. This is 0. 0.2 microns. Natin's going to get through this. That's stuff. N99. <laughs> yeah. He's making N99s. Yeah, this is, and I use two layers of it, like a cuckoo, for Cocoa Puffs Girl. I use, you could use one layer, but I put two because Natin's going to get through here. No ma'am, Pam, no ma'am. <laughs> yeah. All right. Perfect. And then now you've sewn it. I know there's an echo because I, I can't, the audio's not on here and I have my volume down and I can still hear you guys. So I don't know how to turn it off on the phone. It just won't. It won't do it. Sorry. So you can hear an echo because it's coming through here. But. Okay, now from the little mini cam here, you can see that you've sewn it, right? And now you did both sides, the bias tape. And now you're going to fold it because that makes your clean edge. But what you're going to do is 
tuck in this quarter inch seam right here and then the one on the side as well. You're going to use your curling iron, your, your straightening iron. That's what it's for. You're going to tuck it in like so. All right. Iron. Oh, I got dog hair in my nose. Riley. If you guys live with dogs, a dog, cat, multiple animals, you know, dog hair gets everywhere. And I feel like I have dog hair everywhere right now. Whew. Riley, Riley, Riley. Where's my boot? Riley, Riley, you sleeping? Come here. You don't have time to be sleeping. Why are you sleeping? That's not <laughs> So you pinch the ends like so with your curl on. Come here, Riley Ray. Say hi to your family here. They want to say hi to you. <laughs> Don't be hiding. Hey, Jen. Going? Mitch finally got backstage again, if you could. Oh, is he back there? Okay. Yep. So you just pinch it, pinch it, pinch it, pinch it. So you pinch iron that. Riley Ray, come. come here. Riley. Oh, she's going to come straight. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. I can't reach her down there. Why are you making mama work hard? All right. <laughs> oh. oh, I got you. I got you. You're not falling. There you go. Yes. You're grunting. Oh, oh we're going to eat mama's face. No, no, we're not eating mama's face. Not say hi to the people, Riley. She just wants to eat your face. That's all she wants to do. Okay, you done? Have you had enough? You done? I think she's done. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> and I'm done. I don't want to. I was sleeping and mama bothered me. How rude. Okay. So back to what we were doing over here. So we got the curled ends like that with a curling iron. We just wanted those quarter inch on the side just to pinch itty, pinch itty, pinch itty, pinch itty it. And it, it works so much better than iron. They make you do this with an iron, like, well, um, and then you fold this one over as well. Um, I need to sew that. That's all crooked. Girl, is sewing crooked tonight. Yeah, I need to add a stitch right there. I do not like it. It looks just on the top. It looks kind of weird. It's too far in. You know, you could just look at it. If you don't like it, just add an extra stitch or two. Yeah, I just didn't like that end piece. It looked kind of weird. Yeah, I use my bobbin again. Oh no. Oh, yeah, I got stuck. Struggle is real. So put your bobbin thread through here. It's got to go in through this thing right here and then around this thing right here through that tooth. See? And then you just Flip it back into the sewing machine tightly. Make sure it's on there. Yep. You've got to click. You hold your top thread and then you're going to fish it. See? And you're going to fish that other color through like so. And you just pull it out. Ba bam. Fishing. That's called fishing for the bobbin. Fishing for the bobbin. Okay. Now we're back to doing what we're supposed to do on the other side. Uh, the later it gets, the more crazy it looks. All right. So you would flip it over on the other side as well. You can iron it if you want, if it's being crazy. You know, curling iron, I mean, straightening iron does wonders. It just makes it so much easier. With the pleats, everything, it just looks better. Okay. So you get both sides that way, and then you're going to turn the ends in. Okay. 
I saw it. You're going to iron it. Sorry. Got Captain Hook and the Lost Boys. Blue. And same thing on this side. Quarter inch on this side. Just pinch and iron. The little curling iron, I'm telling you, it's a great hack. Or straightening iron. I don't keep calling it curling iron. But you can curl with your your curl your hair with it too it's just a cheapy little five dollar um five below dollar store iron yes. i bought many many years ago i tell you what if you're gonna do it that's the way to go because running back and forth to the kitchen to use the big iron is sucky jim's yeah. got it down well it's heavy too and it's big and all you're trying to do is is iron little bitty parts of a mask so this iron can get in the little nooks and crannies like you can get into and you can iron it perfect, you know? But yeah, it's just easy. If you have a curling iron you're not using anymore or straightening iron you're not using anymore, why not? We are in a pandemic. We're just gonna use what we got. <laughs> so there you go. And now that you're done, remember this is this side, that's the front. That doesn't look quite finished yet, that's the back. The back looks prettier than the front. Don't ask me why I made it that way. I should have made this the front because the print is prettier on that side. But what can you do? I have more of that same fabric. So once you're done, you're just going to fold it over halfway like this. Are you watching me? I don't know if you can see it. Shoot, here. There we go. This way, this way. All right, you're going to, you folded these quarter inches in. You're going to fold the ends one time and then you're going to fold it one more time all right like that so make sure that is all tucked in though i almost want to stitch this so it doesn't go anywhere you can i would just stitch one stitch right across here and then maybe one stitch right across here oh, just to lock it in place it's driving me crazy I didn't like that about the one last night too, so I think I'm gonna throw a stitch in there just to, just for fun, y'all, just for fun. And it doesn't wiggle all over the place. That'd be crazy. Because if the end is pretty short, I think it got, got a hard time of tucking. I think it's okay for this one because I did not make it even. It's shorter on the side. That's my fault. I wasn't paying attention. Make sure both ends are even so you, you have more slack. Um, so you're going to fold it once, and then you're going to fold it twice. That way it's a clean edge. You're making like a tunnel for your elastic or whatever. It's the same as this. You're going to run your um, bias tape through here. So use your, uh, use your straightening. I guess, I guess Natalie lost internet connection too, and she might be backstage oh. as well, Jen. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm coming. I'm coming. Sorry. All right. Get to add everybody. Or whatever is the same as this. You're going to run your mm -hmm. um, bias tape through here. So, Welcome back, Mr. Mitch. Use your, uh, use your um, not bad. I, guess, I guess Natalie lost internet connection too, and she went uh -oh. back to well. Yeah, there. so oh, okay, okay. I'm I'm gonna gonna say I'm not back. Um, there you are. No, you're here. And everybody. You're on. I don't see her back here. Well, I don't see me. Watch streamer, not YouTube. Back to here. So you're gonna run your um, mm -hmm. bias tape through here. So, Welcome back, Mr. Mitch. Oh wow. Delay. Delay. Not bad. I guess Natalie lost internet connection too. Are you doing it? Yeah, so. Okay. I don't see you again. Yeah, I'm not back. Um, Here you are. No, you're here. Yeah, you're on. I don't see her back. Watch Streamer, not YouTube. Okay. Welcome back, Mr. Mitch. Oh, wow. oh nice, Sergey. Okay. We're trapped into a uh, endless loop here. Oh, I'm looking. Um, I'm using a different fabric. 
Okay, I'll show you what that is. I got more. It's on this fabric. Here's a book. Here, it's very pretty. I've got Pinocchio. Pinocchio. Jungle Book. A balloon. Jungle Book. We have to get a jungle book. Okay, I'll show you the fabric. I got more. It's on this fabric. Here's a That's the fabric I'm using. Dalmatians. It's all the classic movies. Super cute, right? You can use a coffee filter, hey, I mean, whatever will do in a pinch, but if you can find a vacuum bag, girl, that's your best, closest thing to a medical grade a mask, honestly, is, um, yeah, go get a, go get a vacuum bag. Okay. Even if, I've heard of people, actually, they sell the... Um, canister HEPA filters they're a little bit more expensive for wet and dry vacs mm. if you pull the ends off and you pull the filter out it's the same thing it's the same five layer filter because HEPA means that it's got to be 0.3 which is N95 right. so um, even if you got to buy that and try it I know they're expensive but you, you should be still be able to get you know like four or five filters out of it so oh yeah you're going to use it more than once you're going to use it for you know. Well, and to be honest with you, the filter, because most of the debris would be caught on the outside of the mask. So the, the filter is, oh, you, you can yeah. reuse it. You know what I mean? It's you got to buy that and try it. I know they're expensive, but you should, you know, like four filters out of it. So. Oh, yeah. You're going to use it more than once. You're going to use it for, you know. Well, and to be oh, honest with you, the filter. Because most of the debris would be caught on the outside of the mask. So the, the filter. All right. Is, so you're going to fold it like so. You know what I mean? It's, uh, I got it at the own fabric. All my fabric are left in Joanne. I'm, oh, I'm a big Joanne shopper. That's where we get it before. Like most, most of my new fabric comes from the mask. I got some some villains ones that I need to and I have the the Colonel Capo hundred minutes. I love the I I think the one the industry article said the animal is really good. Like especially if you want to put it on the inside, it's so much softer on your face. I had a finished product, two of them here, but I don't know what I do with them. I'm trying to be quiet and not wake up Vicky, so. All right, so you guys are putting on, I don't know where you guys are from, if you're from. Yeah, I'm seeing that. And we're going to fold it once, and then we're going to fold it twice. I had a finished product, too, but I don't know what I do. Yeah. I don't know if that way it's cool. She's knocking everything down today. Okay. I'm trying to be quiet. I don't think I'm going to give you that camera. Let's not do it. Hey. The other side, same thing. You're doing the same exact thing here. You're going to just fold and then fold. 
So we're gonna fold it once. Yeah, you're yeah, exactly not. Oh, is she there? Okay, I need to add her. Hang on. Yep, she's here. I can see her. Everybody's on the internet. It's like, I don't know who it is. I can still have mine pretty. Hey. I love the internet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Welcome huh? back. Thanks. <laughs> no, I can't hear. I can still hear it. It's driving me insane. I don't know how to turn it off, so I don't. I can't hear you. My audio is off, but yet I can still hear it. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> hey, Nat, Nat. Hey, girl. Hey, Mitch. <laughs> Okay, so this is go. Welcome back, Natalie. Welcome back. Thanks, Scott. <laughs> I was like, what's going on here? This internet just kicked me out. <laughs> yeah. Everybody's on. Heather. Where are you at, Heather? Hey, Heather. Are you going to come on? <laughs> We're here. Decent. <laughs> There's our Miss Heather. What's up? I know she's. I know you're trapped at home. Do the ends first because they're like the most ornery part of it is the ends because you want to make sure it's tight, you know. Because oh. otherwise, oh, yeah. it's gonna have like weird unfinished edges. Heather, I guess how yeah. these link to get in. I t oh, can you guys send it to her? Here, hang on. Oh, I have to do it on this Scott. one. You got it. Oh. I'll get it. I'm trapped. <laughs> I know. I know, girl. We're going to have to turn off the other camera. I'm going to do it. No, I'll copy it. I got no, it. No, no. Can't do it. Is it? Woo. Okay. This thing is being ornery in this corner. Come on. Get Try that together. one, Heather. Let us know, Heather, if you're backstage. Yeah, you should see the square when it pops up. Here, Heather. We missed our so Heather. Nat, I think you, <laughs> Nat, I think you told us when the um, uh, sign up for the 10K. Um, April 7th. Is the date. Because, um, yeah, you should sign up first day because 5K and 10K goes fast. <laughs> okay. I'm signing up. I'm signing up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Too bad we'll be there for you guys. <laughs> yeah, I don't see it. I don't see her. You don't see her? Not there yet. I asked her if it worked in the chat, but yeah, there she is. I think she. Wait, 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 wait. I see. It. There she is. Hello, Heather. <laughs> Hello, Heather. <laughs> okay, now we got everybody in now. We're so up. This is why we're the Lost Boys of Orlando, people. <laughs> Where all the vampires of her window hang out. Hang out. Heather, if you can't, if you are, girl. yeah, you can. Mm -hmm. You wash them. You wash them right away when you get home, or I put it in a Ziploc bag. If you're not gonna wash it right away, like in a garbage, you know, Ziploc gallon bag. I throw all my dirty masks in there, and then I uh, Smart. put on a different mask and wash that one. That's why you should have like at least two. Then you can rotate them out. That way, you know, you can wash them or just hand wash them or 
I don't know if you'd throw them in the wash. Be careful of the bias tape. The bias tape might come out or put it in a delicate bag, like put it in one of those laundry That's delicate right, bags. You know, Heather's always got the and most things. beautiful smile. Oh, thank you. <laughs> 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 bags, laundry bags. I would put it in one of those. Don't just throw it in the washer because it's probably going to get destroyed. So put it in one of those fancy bags or hand wash it. It's up to you in hot water. But put it on the delicate cycle with hot water and one of those fancy, fancy lingerie bags. You know, that's what I would do. That way you have it all safe and sound and it's not going to come apart or pull apart. But yes, you should have more than one. That way you could just, you know, wash it right away and then put on your other one. Then you, at least two, at least two. You know, you could rotate them out, wash one, use the other. Because, I mean, I assume you'd, you know, if you're going to go out for things, try to make that all in one trip. Like, when we go, you know, if you're going to go to front errands, do it all. Like, go to Walmart, work, whatever you need to do, do it all at the same time. That way you don't have to keep exposing yourself over and over again. Well, Rachel, you're you're telling her you said hello now because I'm probably not going to get to see uh, Heather for a little while here since we're Thank all. You guys. No, it's been like since, it's been since yeah. I've seen like Jen. It's been crazy. It's been it's crazy. Been it's been terrible. It's been horrible. It's so it's like I thought like like my parents were away in like February, so I didn't see you for like ten days, and I thought that was long, but it's been three weeks since I've seen you, Dan and Peter and everybody, and it's just been like, oh, everybody. I know. See, I know it so what happens. The later it gets, Jen gets delirious. All right. And <laughs> Jen and out. Peter and Heather and well, Peter's like by himself, so yes, I have seen Peter because he's by himself. I'm he lives here by himself. No, I'm not gonna leave him all lonely by himself. So you know, he has a mask, and I need to just drop off. Like now that I get my. Are, are you saying, Jen, that I should call Peter? <laughs> I invited him. He didn't answer. Is he sleeping? Because he's seeping. Yeah. Well, hey, if you want me to call him, all you got to do is say the word. <laughs> He's asleep. He's sleeping night night, you know. Him and his, did he have his bottle of wine tonight? No, he no, had his eight Bud ounce light. Bud Light. <laughs> oh, Bud Light, okay. Yeah. Little, little yeah. Movie, Bud Light. Late night streams, but hey, yeah. for all you nocturnal people, look at you, 74 people are night shifters here. I'm losing my mind because I'm losing tools everywhere now. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it is. So I was like, I think it's Saturday. What day is it? <laughs> I don't even know. I've been laid off for the first Heather. time in my life for two weeks. So I know you're more locked in than anybody. Found him. We're so sad. It. <laughs> yeah, we're all confused. We're like, hey, if you, if you see it's something I'm so looking crazy. for, just the, just say. You know, those of us, <laughs> well, normally see each other a lot more than now. It's like, well. Uh, I'd be selfish if I didn't say this is awesome because I only get to see you guys twice a year. So, no, I get it, and that's why it's so sad. I can't see them. Real stuff. It's gonna be like we're gonna be all running on the down Main Street. Like it's gonna be, it's gonna be fun. Oh, I can't wait. Can't wait. We are normal. We might be running down Main Street with a mask, so I better run down Main Street. Yeah. I'll run down Main Street with you guys with masks. I don't care. With you. I mean, they're taking temperatures, and I bet you they're going to be taking temperatures at the door. Like at security, that's what the uh, blog was saying on their on their blog. That, that so, might be part of our new model is them taking your temperature in security to make sure you don't have fever. So all of those nurses and first aid will be out there zapping people, making sure we're uh, healthy. That means I get to go to Disney. Um. Uh, Ruby. Yeah. Ruby. Um. That's a good question. I mean. 
five five days the virus lives on those materials, but I think. Oh, I don't it's know. all different. They say plastic versus stainless steel versus yeah, fabric. Not, that's different. what I'm trying to figure out. Uh, Ruby's got masks coming, and what kind of mask? N95. N95. Oh, they are not N95. What are they? I can't. I think they're the regular masks. Oh, okay. A lot of people today that I saw wearing regular masks are wearing like two of them. Um, I would wear, if you're just a regular mask, I would try to put an extra piece of fabric or if you have a fabric mask, maybe wear it over your, well, your surgical well, mask. Ruby's not going out. Ruby's yeah, not she's going not out. kept her like, doctor's Ruby. appointments, right? I think she has to go to the doc doctor. If you're the doctor's woman, it's the only time she'll go out. Mm hmm but yep all right so we no, sew this one um you just sew it like this and then sew that all right one like well Ruby, my question is is we have Ruby, uber and we have uber each Ruby, when are they going to have uber doctors if you need it i do have my doctors now i'm gonna take this this time in so i've done that a bunch of times we're doing that for little things when i know it's like I just need a prescription for something if it's a pink eye or like I had a throat infection. Although they they're using azithromycin for Message treating COVID me. as one of their Message antibiotics. Me, well, I just got a package yesterday from my insurance so I think that, there be a little that had me already set up for um, online doctor twenty four seven for me and the whole family. So. I like the online doctors. I really do. They do a good job. And for little things. I'm not, I'm talking like if you know you have a UTI, an eye infection, something you've had before and you've had medication for that something before. But of course, you know, seek a medical professional for everything. So that's it, kids and cats. Cool cats and kittens. We're, <laughs> we're done with our mask. Yay. And it's got the pocket on the back. Um, yeah, it's it's done. So the fun part is we're gonna thread our our bias tape through there. Oh, Mama's done sewing for the night. She's over. She's done. <laughs> I'm out in it. All right. So we're gonna grab um, our safety pin. So your mask is pretty much done. Look, it's so pretty. You got blue. Pretty. And. And then you've got Alice in Wonderland in the back there. It's pretty. I should have used this as a crime. Yes. I have your pocket. Let me know. Seriously, Ruby, let me know. Your... She might even cancel the appointment her doctor. Oh. Just lay a daiquiri to get brain freeze right before they scan you. Oh, that's funny, Jonathan. Now they should be fine, actually. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, let us know, Ruby, if you cancel your appointment. If it's just a, a oh, what do you call it, checkup, uh, they can do it over the phone, FaceTime. They've been doing the FaceTime thing lately, so they should, especially yep. if they're just doing that. All of you, like, high-risk people, like, you really shouldn't, you know? All right. Ruby, right. do you have any masks? Do you have any masks, oh. Ruby? I think you have a surgical mask, right? Yeah, if you don't need to go to her office, you don't need to go to her office. I mean, if you're fine, your medicate everything is good. Like if you're, you know, if you're you, you check, I know I'm sure your blood pressure, your your sugar, all of that stuff. If that's okay, we'll just try to do a consult over the phone. And you are a high risk patient, so I would not be traipsing all over town if you don't have to. Yeah. Absolutely not. Um, so grab your bias tape. This is the fun part. It is about, I did 18 and it was a little long, but I prefer it that way. So I have a lot of, um, you want to make sure you have enough to tie the mask around your face. So, you know, like Rip. this was 18 inches. It may not be needed, but... Mm -hmm. I think it works. That's, all, that's all you have, Ruby. Tell me, tell me, 
do you have more Ruby? Do you have more than one? Um, do you have an N95? I don't. I'm gonna message you on the side. I think she has a hundred surgical masks. Now the 18 inches seem to work because look at the size of the bow in the back. It's perfect. So it's 36. So what you're gonna do is it's 36 inches on this. Oh, so come on. just measure it. <laughs> okay. Two. Yeah. You wanna have I'm more sure, but not enough to tie around yeah, your head. See. So two of the ruler, 18, 36 inches, so 18 and 18. And then just cut it right there. I like the bias tape. I, I don't think the elastic makes it tight enough. If you just want it sitting barely in front of your face, you want it tight. You're trying to keep particulate matter from entering your mask. So if you can, it's loose. I don't know it's doing really much. I mean, I'm not saying you're gonna do a lot, but it's better than nothing, and you want it okay. to. Keep I'm gonna send you N95 Ruby. So here we're gonna put the. I don't know if you can see that. The safety pin. Grab your bias tape. You're just gonna poke that through, and then close the safety pin, and then we're gonna thread it through this channel, which I made a little small. <laughs> So, uh, I might have to use a smaller safety pin. This one. All right. This one's a little too big. So, use a little baby, baby safety pin. Same thing, different day. Just, you know, clip a little piece of that bias tape through. It's how you're going to get anything inside that. It just like, um, you're doing elastic and pants or anything, so you're going to shove that in here, and then you're going to just thread it through like the champ that you are. You can do it. And then you just pull, and you just keep threading it through. I made the channel a little too snug, but it's fine. It'll work. It's just harder for me to get it through because I made it a little narrower than I should have. I sewed it too high on this end. <laughs> That's what happens. You do the same thing oh, whether you're that. using That's bungee, bad. you're using elastic, whatever it is that you're using. I just prefer the bias tape, and it's easily accessible right now. You can't find no elastic at no Walmart, Joann's, Michael's. Nobody has it. Nobody. So we looked everywhere. Wow. Did I go down the wrong side again? I did. Hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Scott, it's okay. You didn't hear him? <laughs> and Rob? Oh, you did hear him, Rob. Oh, my God. Yeah. Hey. Rob's having a good time, obviously. Struggle bus for this time. I did not Scott's, uh, Scott's working on uh, math too. Hard at work. Hard at work. I'm good, Ruby. How are you? What is it? If Amber was home, everything would be perfect, but she's doing what she has to do at the nursing home. Me, so you know, you don't have any you don't have any mask, Pam. Alright. I might have to do with the other I'm gonna finish this mask before I go to bed, it'll be the death of me. There's right. a good chance I might be dead tomorrow morning. Oh, there we go. Ross emotional about um, video games. <laughs> I made the channel too narrow. Sure? Don't do what I did. 
make sure you leave them in the space. It's really, really narrow. You call me, Ruby. Mitch, even if I, I got Ruby, if she needs it right now, um, I can make her, I can make her a couple. Okay. I wouldn't leave her. I want to make, sure. make sure we got Ruby covered. Oh, yeah. But she can. Mm -hmm. And I know you've been good about ordering everything online. Just keep on keeping on with that. You got your bias safe. You got one side done. There's one side, so that's done. Cool. Very cute. Now we'll do the other side next. This is so cute. The ice maker is going crazy. So it's 18 inches of 36. So that's 18. Just measure the other one. Wait a minute. What, <laughs> what Tammy? Cool. Yeah, pretty much one bias tape is going to only do one mask. You may have Pam, just oh, Pam, message me your address in Facebook. Okay. Pa Pam, do you need you have you have no mask? Do you need mask? Pam doesn't have masks? nothing, Mitch. You have none? She has nothing Sorry, and what? nothing around her has any material, Mitch. That's the problem. Crazy. I don't know where mom got her mask. She she has one from down there. I don't know where she got it from. I know she didn't make it. She bought it. So mom was able to get a mask. She has something. I don't know. I have to ask her where oh, she bought it. Because mom's in South Florida, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're down there together. I gotta ask her where she got it. Maybe she was able to buy it now. It's gone on her. All right. Same thing on the other side. He's going to loop it through the other tunnel. Ooh, these are both tight. These are going to be the best. I made them wrong. Well, I made the channel too tight. That's my fault. Not paying attention. Made it too skinny. After 25 years of being an electrician, let's just say my fingers aren't petite enough to be doing this. Oh, what? I'm sorry, Rob, but it's the truth. Right after. I know, Rob. No. And yes, I know he's not talking to me. Rob's playing video games. If you can still, figure that out, it's right? So, yeah, no, your mom should not be going outside for sure, Pam. Like, we tell mom not to go outside. I know, like, sure, like, all of them are, like, buying the groceries for their parents or, like, to right. the grocery for them or getting it delivered. Instacart, baby, Instacart. Pam, um, Pam, <laughs> Pam, message, message me, Pam, message me your address, uh, shipping address. I can, I got an N95 or two I can send you. Well, like I said, Mitch, if, if if you don't have enough for your wife and daughter, I mean, I can make them, and I have the filters, and yeah. so, I mean, yours are not, 
you're not you can't make them right now so yeah. i mean pam just send me the info and what? i'll hook you i'm sorry rob i'll, I'll send you one too you don't have to get mad. <laughs> Oh my god, I made it to the Wow. Pam, Pam, send me. Pam, message me. Yeah, I'm not going to fight Mitch. Believe. Mitch has enough. So on N95, that paper is not for multiple use. You don't use it more than once. Pam. Just letting you know. We use it once, you throw it out. I can get, I can get from there. I know, I know your mom. I know you guys need him. Okay, I know you guys need him. Okay. Yeah, because the one Recently that Scott is makes Scott. is gonna be reusable. I mean, you can. I mean, if you want to get them from a tree, but those once you use them, you throw them out. You don't reuse them. That's what I'm saying. You and your mom. You yeah. Tell me where to send them, Pam. But do not reuse them because then you're going to contaminate yourself. It's one use only. So make it count. Like if you're out for 12 hours, you wear that mask. You're not, that's a, not if you're going to the store for five minutes. If you're going to the store for five minutes, then you need to use a reusable one. Because those ones that Mitch is going to send you, they're precious. They're one-time use. And, you know, medical people are using one mask for a 12-hour shift. So use those like if you're going to be out for 12 hours, make it count. You know, not for the one hour trip to the store. You, you use these or, or like the N95s, like the printable ones for there. Because yours, the one you have are precious. Like those are, <laughs> save those for a rainy day for sure. Pam, you know. Yeah. But she's still going to need them for more than one day. You know, you need to either make them or, oh, you have paper. Yeah. Oh, Ruby has the paper ones, yeah. Yeah, I've been, we've been working on this for weeks. I have mine somewhere. Where's the ones that you can show them, the one that you sent me? I know that's the old version, but the new version should be here Monday. That's what that's what, yeah, please, yeah. that's what I went to the glass and I went the to the post office. So these are the 3D printed ones that Scott gave us. Yeah, but, so got but that, that's an actual <laughs> respirator. That's supposed to be a sealed yeah, respirator. On it in the back. These are reusable. And that's why you cut it out. Mine, this is too big, even for, for Rob. Um, but you just tie it. And these are these are reusable because they're, they're PLA material. And then you just, same thing, this one goes around your neck, then goes over your head. Like this one, I mean, it sounds like boom. Well, this is a reusable one, and then once this one, I have a smaller one coming. This one's too big, obviously, as you can tell. There's like a big gap right here. But these are the ones that if you can put the filter and then put that double-sided tape on the inside, it ain't going anywhere. Um, because you can always, we're gonna put an Olsen over this. This is hard. Plastic. Be right back. So this is what it looks like. No, Scott yes. is, is yes. uh, this God, is the serious. mask that looks like this that you can put over here. You can also use your surgical cloth one over this. You know what I mean? And that way you're using this part. So you have two under here. That's what the cloth one is for. Just to keep it like nice and like covered. But this underneath here is like the respirator. You know what I mean? Hey, Jason, yeah, we're so up. We are up till normally like three or four in the morning, if not later. But um, Scott's sending us a smaller one. Yeah. So this is too big. If you can see, I can stick two of my fingers in here. That is not, that's not good. 
one this is too, but this is like for, okay. for man size. He's sending me a smaller one, but this one's more like a respirator. That's like your fight. So that's what I'm saying is that you need, um, this one is wear this and I would just make one of these thin ones or like the Olsen, but maybe not put an extra filter. This doesn't have a filter in it right now, but I took it out to show you guys. And you just put one to cover this. That's all you're doing with one of these masks that we're building today. You can use it just to cover your actual 3D printed one. Because this, you can spray Clorox, you know, like wipe it down, put it in hot water. And then all you have to do is replace the filter. You just pop the sucker out. What what people are doing with the 3D yeah, okay. printed one at, at hospitals and at nursing homes is they have buckets with uh, bleach and water yeah. stuff so that when they're done they take the mask off they pull out the filter throw the filter away and then they just throw the plastic in the bleach water mixture so that mm -hmm. it, it sanitizes and then they dry it put a new filter square filter in it and off you go off you go yeah and these are better because i mean you can clean it better but it's it's difficult to breathe because it's a respirator it's it's our, oh yeah we're still alive people are still up <gasps> there he is. It's the elusive Rob. You can put in your, your, your two cents. <laughs> is it right there or I can move it? You know, you're still playing? Rob just playing. I was waiting for drinks. But He's like, where's my cocktails, man? Where's my cocktail? There's, there's a whole bar behind your head. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's all in one, right? But anyway. I know, right? I'm going to make it after uh -oh. this. That's our that? right? No. We're done making the mask. Am I right? So, no, that mask is going to look like this, Rachel. It looks like that. So, but that is the 3D one. <laughs> so. Yeah, of course. I mean, 3D printed ones are nice and easy to clean for sure. So these are, and then Rob just used leather ties because that's all we had in here. But you could use the bungee on this one. I would probably use the bungee for this one. So the 3D printed one. So you got a friend that has a 3D printed printer. They're free open source patterns. They don't have to cost anything for the actual pattern. You have a 3D printer, go print one yourself. They got a new pattern every day. Because it gets more improved. As right back. Oh, but here's your mask. It's almost done. Let's let's not get distracted. You're good girl. I was getting off. No, no, no. <laughs> distracted again. Trying to thread her mask through. I made it too small. It's my fault. Guys. It's late. And I should have made it bigger. It's just harder for me to get it through, but we will get it through. We will persevere and we will overcome. <laughs> yeah. You can do it. Like the water boy. Yesterday's did not take this long because I made sure that was bigger. Ouch. And then, of course, when your safety pin comes apart, that's not good either. I it's stabbing me. Struggle hmm. bus. It should not take this long. <laughs> she did not make the bias thing on the side here big enough it's t it's just taking me a minute but here we go it's like when you're making a dress or whatever that you're you've got to get the the bias tape or the elastic or something for like a skirt if you've ever shown this um sewn a, sh a skirt 
There it goes. I'm oh, glad I got it for the first time. Praise Jesus. There we go. We got it. Oh my God. Yay. Yay. It's done. Oh, well, quite. I'm not quite done, but we just got to stick the filter fabric in there. So that You know, it's funny, Jen, as I did the exact same thing as you. I stitched it too tight. I'm having a hard time getting the uh, my elastic through. Yeah. The exact Oops. same thing. Oopsie. <laughs> I'll pull it again more. All right. So make sure you have it right side up. This is where the this is where your filter will go in this little bitty bitty pocket here. So we will just grab some filter material. You could do one layer or you could do two, whatever works for you. I prefer two, but that's just me because I am not it. <laughs> so I just Fold it or cut it to size, and then you're just gonna stuff it in there. You're gonna stuff it. <laughs> stuff it. More and more. I, I don't want nothing getting through. So your HEPA filter, whatever you're able to get, or you can get some uh, surgical uh, wrap. No, Maybe you're, Rachel, <laughs> you're good to go. Make sure the most important part is this part of your face has filter. So if you have to make it a little bit wider, I would say like hold it like so, or just cut it, it's up to you. Like it's almost gonna end up like that. It's just like, okay, girls will get this. You know you have a sports bra and there's that stupid foam insert in it, like it moves around. It's kind of like putting that in there. Like your little bra <laughs> insert. Get, girls get this because we have that like sports bras or camel soles. They have that little built-in foam padding thing. It's just like fixing that inside of these masks. That's exactly what you're doing. Try to make sure it's straight. But you want to mm -hmm. make sure you have filter where your nose and your mouth will be because um, that's the most important. All right. So that's in there fairly good. Make sure it doesn't have to be perfect. Just make sure it's all the way across, especially the nose because we're not trying to catch nothing. <laughs> All right, so you have one right there by the nose. So we're going to put it on. Okay, proper way to do this, like like Rob demonstrated on me today. No, it's not going to be cute and pretty. So just make sure you, like, pull your hair down. So the proper way to put on a surgical mask is the top first, nose piece over the nose. You're going to pinch that so it molds to your nose and your cheek. We put four in there. This goes over your ears. I want to show it to you over your ears. And you tie it behind the butt. It's got to be behind your head on the top part of your head. As tight as you can tolerate it. Whatever you can tolerate, go for it. There you go. All right, that's the top one. Bottom one goes over your neck like here so this you could pull under your ear if you want and then you're going to tie it on your neck make sure it's just tight just like a bow because you can tolerate it you want it tight you got to tie that top one way up high if it's too low it's going to come off there you go and this has got to be tight. It's got to be on the top of your head, on top of your ear. It's got to go up top. And then I would pinch, 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 pinch. I put four in this one. This feels really good, actually. Pinch it here, pinch it here. And yeah, it's not going to be completely tight, but see how much tighter it gets underneath your chin. It's pretty tight here. I made this one smaller because this one's a little too big on me. So I did make this one smaller. And Try to breathe out. Let's see, sail. See if there's any obvious gaps and tighten it. I mean, if it's tight somewhere, like it's not going to be completely airtight, okay? But that's how you tie a proper mask. And then when you get the double sided tape, because you can just leave that if you need to breathe, 
you're gonna tie it again, but make sure you wash your hands with a septic mm -hmm. And yeah. then you just before you put it back on, because now this is contaminated. So you know, tie this first. I wouldn't I wouldn't take it on and off if you're gonna go to the sub, keep it on the whole time or whatever. Don't take it on and off because you're and then when you take out your gloves, all three you put gloves on when you take it out. I can demonstrate how to do that too. It's just you're gonna fold it this way. And then the, uh, you're going to basically fold it into each other and then you touch the inside part that did not touch the surface. So, you know. Um, What do you mean? This one? Oh, I can breathe on this one. It's harder to breathe on this one than this one. So, but yes, you need to get the filter is listed in the description box below. Everything you need to know is in the description box. I... I typed it all up for you. Everything you're going to need for this mask is down there. So, oh, bye, Rachel. I'll see you later. Good night. Night, sweetie. Yeah, this is a 3D printed mask. So, if you have a 3D printer, there's an open source. Yes, Scott can get you the census. Yeah, there's there, new and updated coming out every there's day. There's a new one. Yeah, she's, they got a new one. That, the one I'll be getting one day is new uh, than this one. But this one's just, this is just Rob. It's too, it's too big for me. But this is what I've been wearing with the picture in it. But honestly, you need to probably put this. That's what it's for on top of that. I would wear it double. And you just get used to it. And you know it's hard. But practice with it like at home. But it is a little harder. But you get used to it. I got used to it real quick. I don't go out and the mask. But yeah, I got used to it. I'm angled up in my hair. Go figure. Struggle is real. There we go. But that's my mask. Yay, yeah, we finished it. It only took like three hours, but we were chatting in between. But yeah, it's got the little nose piece right there. And it's got the pleats. And I do like the bias tape better. I did not like the bungee. It just was, it's not tight enough for me. I mean, the whole point is trying to make it tight for longer face. If you have air obviously coming out if you go if you breathe out and there's air coming out here and here you need to tighten it because it's not tight enough you are letting if you if air can get out air is getting in so might as well not wear it so but that's my tutorial for the day if you and i hope you guys enjoyed it and fun. just like that i finished mine yay um, i enjoyed being with you Thank you, Ruby. We're done. You're welcome, welcome, Lisa. It's just time consuming. Good night, Chip. I know it's late. We get started so late. We've been nocturnal lately. It's just the way we are nowadays. It's so bad. I know. I need to set alarms to not be. I've turned into a vampire, like a complete and utter vampire. I worked 7 p.m. for a decade, so. Mm, I to a dog, you want to? Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Mm. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. blah, blah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I don't say blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 used to it. I only use one layer. I even put two layers of filter in here because I'm almost paranoid like that. This is mine. And well, I'm glad, Jonathan. Yeah, I'm, this is not hard. Anything, everything I listed is in the description box. I'm going to type up the show notes and put it on the website. That way you have it. And then the one that, yeah, the one that Scott has is an Olsen. But I have the pattern for that. I'll link it for you guys. You can download it as well. Thank you, Natalie. And then it has, like, pattern pieces you can print out in your printer. The one we're going to make is the Olsen next, the one that, like, Scott has. So we do have the little patterns for it, and we'll use – I'm just waiting for my double-sided tape, which doesn't get here until Tuesday. And I'm using the HEPA Hoover vacuum bag filter. There you go. And this is what it looks like. So on the outside, it's shiny. This is what goes to the outside of the mask. Inside, that's the actual filter that – that's what it is. So and out of that – Filter that I showed you, I can believe I can get 13 filters out of one bag. And when you buy the box, you get two bags. So one box is yeah. roughly 24 to 26 filters. So that's good. I mean, you can 
And in these, the, the 3D printed ones don't even use a lot of filter, look. They're so like tiny. Yeah, it's tiny. A tiny little square. It's not a lot of like filter in there either. So this one's more Bane looking, but I have, there's a red one too, but the smaller one should fit me better. So, whoop, it'll work. Ooh, the anticipation. Yeah, you need one. No, I, you guys can do it. I know it's it's the easiest mask one that I've found online. Everybody kind of has the same design. This is all. If I can do it, any of you can do it. There you go. You can do it. I started this two days ago. You can do it. You can do it. Like the Just what he people. said. <laughs> fabric, what see? Said. I like the flannel too. They said flannel was good, especially to your face. That NBC article. It, and look for it. I'll have to link it on the on the page or something about like I read an article about certain fabrics are better than others. They want the cotton. Like, that's why I said the quilting fabric, the um the fat quarters, because these are all thin cotton weave. You want the smaller the better, the less see through the better. So like if you double it up and you can't see through it, that's good. T-shirts no bueno because it's too loose. Mm. They, it's too loose. Um. I was going to make one that matched my ears, a little giraffe print. <laughs> <laughs> so you can have your matching Disney ears and your matching mask. You know what I mean? Yeah. When we go back to the park, we're going to look cute. <laughs> you, know? you have matching masks with a new, new normal. <laughs> there you go. I'm going to make ears out of, I got the Merida fabric too, so that'll be cute. All of these are my ear fabrics, but... My favorite is really the Karofi. It's so soft. I just want to like roll around in it. It's like a flannel blanket. And we got buffalo plaid, so we could use that too. There you go, Canada colors. Oh, Canada. <laughs> oh, there you go. I knew it was still in a container because it's. I found it. It was sitting there. So, like fat quarters come like this, like already oh, right. in a little package. So, yep, you just buy them. And they have a lot of different fabrics, like Disney fabric or whatever you want. Um, I have Meredith Carton. So I was going to make I like the fleece, the, the flannel fabric, because it just gets soft against your face. If you have to wear, like, for 12 hours a day, I would definitely be one of those. But good. Oh, let's hear Rob make a homemade face mask. He's better at sewing than I am. You have to understand he's the cosplayer in the family. Oh. All those Darkwing Duck costumes, that's not a challenge, Carrie. <laughs> Rob will make one better than I am. He'll be like, done. No, he's, he's, this, he's the one that's better at sewing than I am. I can't, I make masks and I make ears. That's about the extent of my sewing ability. Not like those full length costumes. Nope. That's not my that's my that's not my line of work. <laughs> yeah, I saw the scarf too. Yeah, you already know. Yeah, Rob is the one that's better at sewing than I am. I'm not gonna be me. He's gonna come out cuter. But I'll use this one tomorrow. I'm gonna wash my other ones that I wore tonight. I done bleach baby Yoda. Already, that's what happens when you you bleach all your food. I destroyed the shirt. If you didn't see it already, right. it's been destroyed. I got bleach everywhere. Oh no! Oh, oh. <laughs> dye it with some rip dye, like right here. I don't know if I can get rip dye just to this. It's just all on one side. I can just dip the one side of the shirt in the rip, uh, the rip dye because I don't want to ruin poor baby Yoda. But I was wiping down all the groceries today because you have to wipe down everything. Make sure you wipe down like your door jams, your doorbell, um, your yeah, your door jams, everything that's outside because everything's getting delivered by people. So anything you touch, so I must have sprayed it on myself or the cloth touched my shirt. But you wipe down all your groceries before you put it out there. It's just that kind of thing. Mitch does his decon. They, he sprays them down and it sits in the garage overnight before he puts it away. Yeah. Unless it's like perishable, like shrimp. <laughs> we had a, a shrimp making party. Oh, yeah. That was delicious. Anything coming in from Amazon gets his yeah. decon time. 
Yeah, Myra, you need to have mom do it for sure. Who makes a fast mess faster? Oh, Rob will be faster than me, right, honey? I think you'll win that. Who can make a face mask faster? You'll win. I'm not. Well, you already know. It, it's faster once you know how to do it. Right, but you're better at this than I am. I don't. I don't sew clothing. That's mini skirts is the extent of what I sew. That's all I did through my entire clothing class in high school. What am I making today? A mini skirt. What am I making tomorrow? A mini skirt. <laughs> That's all I made. It was what? easy. I don't make anything crazy like Rob. Rob will make with the fancy cosplay stuff. That's his, uh, he could do a tutorial on how to make a cape because you made Darkwing Duck's cape. He made the jacket. The jacket was probably the hardest thing he had to make was, because they don't make purple jackets with yellow buttons. I mean, that's not a good <laughs> You can't go to the men's warehouse to go buy one. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I took notes. So that way I had show notes and I could just read it and remember what the next step was. But I can type that up and put it on the website for y'all. But yeah, that's all she wrote. Is it time to make a cocktail? I think it is. Rob's ready for one. All it's right. way past making one. It's 5 o'clock a.m. somewhere. It's closing time. What do you mean? This covers more of your mask? Your face? Yes. Yes, this one like, covers more of your face. What, she, what you That's talking like about? Girls. Like, we have smaller faces, you know? That's a respirator. I would wear this and this together, like I showed you. I would wear them together. That's just me. But that's the way it should be. This is going to be harder to breathe in, but I would wear them <laughs> both. Now, I do that, yeah, because it does cover your entire face, and it tucks in right here, too. The problem with these for me is it doesn't fit under here. It, there's like a gap. But if you can get one that fits your face, you good. But these are easy. I would make these. By April? No. It is April. It is April. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. No. no. This <laughs> There's no magic wand that I can wave and make it Sorry. disappear. I wish there was, but it's mm, not. Yeah. <laughs> I know the earliest, yeah, the earliest you can make a reservation is Disney's June 1st. I know we talked about that like last week, but I think that's yeah. just a pen holder. I don't think that's a real, you can't hold them, you can't hold them to that like 100%. It, there's nothing set in stone, nothing. We, we haven't even had her peak or the peak hasn't even hit yet. And nothing closed. But we're in it for the long haul, y'all. We'll end it for the long haul. At least another month of this, so. We just gotta hang in together and check in every day if we have to, you know. Make sure you guys are following us on all the different social media, um, Facebook, Instagram. Plus, make sure you give us a follow, give us a thumbs up. Scott's if you eating. Hmm? But Scott eating. Yes. I don't know. Snacks. Mm -hmm. You're not hiding it. Nuts. We saw it. Ooh, fun oh, mix. Fun mix. All right. Is it time to make cocktails? Apparently, it is. Is it's that somewhere. Is it's camera over here. Oh, goodness. Uh -huh. Turn the camera this way so we can kind of see. That's kind of hard, but it'll do. I'll give you the second view as well. Well, what is that? I want to know. All right. Look at. What's what? what? What's what, Mitch? The, what yeah. you're eating? Oh, it's um, it's mixed nuts. It's hatch chili mixed nuts. Right. Yeah, it's, uh, it's spicy, hot. We're gonna try the mango habanero. Oh, I'm in the way as always, but this is not easy to do. But I'll leave this camera here because we'll have to mix it here, or we could just do one baby. There's We're the do bar. Mango habanero. So we'll do that. All this right. Guy. See. Jen's well, getting ready to get the party started. I'm getting ready to go to bed. Do this again tomorrow. Don't worry. Don't yeah, worry. I'll check out very soon. We're going to try this one. <laughs> 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 Thank you. 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 Thank
Yes, definitely. Hi, Heather. Hi, Heather. Hi, Heather. Hi, Heather. Hi, girl. Good night. Yeah, I think Heather's like, what? I don't like any pieces of stuff all over the. Wait a minute. Is she still screaming? Because I got Ooh. Jen. I got two different yeah. videos huh? going on here. What video? I got two different. What? what? That that's what I'm saying. What? No, I was gonna. This was my. Um, I can turn it off now. I don't need this one. Yeah. I'll turn it off here. It was the one for. No, I'm just wondering. I'm like. No, it was for. It was the one showing okay. you the sewing machine. Remember? Mm -hmm. You remember we had a sewing machine one. Well, that's why I'm. I'm asking. Oh, oh, okay. That one's like going crazy. So. What the sewing machine one? I removed it. Yeah, it was. I was gonna show you how to make it from the other angle, but we don't have to. I just, I'll, I'll turn this camera off. It should be gone. It shouldn't be on there. Yep, it's gone. It's gone. Okay, that was the one showing the sewing machine. Okay. I'm gonna show you. I moved it so I could show you how to drink up close, but it's fine. We'll have to see it up close. We can go later. Man. Is Scott still here? I am. Oh, okay. We see your keyboard. I'm sorry. You can't see me. Is somebody backstage? Do you not see me? You can't see me, Mitch. Oh, What's yeah, going on? see you. Oh, okay. I'm like I'm confused right now. I have two cameras. Yeah, I have the one for. Here, I'm going to just shut off my phone. I see you Mitch. <laughs> you don't see me, Natalie? See, like, I see, I see Scott. See Scott. Yeah, I lost the table camera because I was trying to send everybody invites. <laughs> That's what I was doing here. I'm going to just reboot this camera. It's off. What are you doing, Riley? All right. I'm just going to grab a drink of water. Yeah, right man, you're wrong. Right, we're gonna make the Memphis Bell first. That's the easiest one. I am a little far. Oh, I don't know how to do this because it's not angled. I didn't. I, was, <laughs> I didn't plan for this right now, but that's okay. We'll do it. Rob wants cocktail, so. Are you going to get your mixing glass? First thing you're going to do, you're going to drop these strawberries and some help. Some of these are not cute anymore. you got to get rid of them. I waited too long. You're going to get some fresh strawberries. So you're going to get two big, juicy strawberries. That's what we call them on homecoming. They're strawberries. Strawberries. They're strawberries. If you have a muddler, I do not have a muddler, so I'm just going to do this in a bit. Shut this guy up a little bit. But if you have a muddler, muddle it at the bottom of your cup. If you have a muddler, please muddle. That would be good. Okay. Tell them what a muddler is. Muddler is the giant, um, it's like a stick with a, I don't have one. <laughs> It's a device that you smush the fruit with. It's a fruit smusher. There you go. It's a fancy word for a fruit smusher. But you can just use it like, like a mortar and a pestle. Yes, like a pestle, but for fruit. I prefer the knife anyway. Good. All right. What you're gonna do next? What you got there, Matt? You're going to put two ounces of um, Old Smoky Mango Habanero whiskey. This is called a Memphis Belt. So this is actually a drink that is inside the, um, inside the salt I said on the side. So and we're going to do two ounces. Okay. 
And we're gonna grab some honey, so that's ready. Everybody watching? She's making a drink here. Heck, Ruby, we got fancy Disney glasses. <laughs> And then we're going to do um, two ounces of, no, one ounce of lime and one ounce of simple syrup. So I just bought lime juice from the store. If you make fresh lime juice, that would be better and more ideal. But what can you do? I'm going to be creative. Let me do that. See if I can count it out from there. It's probably not going to work. It's not working. I'm going to have to measure it up. Mm. Make sure you're up to date, Ruby. Make sure you uh, get your, yeah. You know what? Asthma's, asthma's uh, an issue, so make sure you renew your. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Prescription. Oh, yeah. Ruby. I'm like, what? Like, who has Ruby's inhaler is um, apparently. Oh, yeah, you need to sit, yeah, make sure they do all of that. I mean, they'll deliver and all of that. They need to renew everything when your health yep. is um, Make sure you just order now. Order it as soon as you can, Ruby. For sure. For sure. That might be a little too much. So he's going to do like an ounce. About an ounce of lime juice. And then we're going to do an ounce of simple. I made simple syrup today. You just boil hot water and put um, your sugar. But I use the Long Canto mix. I use the muck fruit sweetener. So I'm trying to keep it keto as possible. So I use this stuff. So 50-50, 50% boiling water. And this acts just like sugar, and I just whisked it. So you make it the same as a normal simple syrup. A normal simple syrup is 50% water, 50% sugar. That's all it is, sugar water. That's what it is. Um, I use that, so it's a little bit hey, more Jen. brown. Oh, <laughs> I have okay, yeah. Get as much extra as you can, Ruby. Yeah. It's pretty thick. Yeah, <laughs> Hi, Faith. Welcome. Yeah. Hello, Jen Stone. I don't know, Rudy. <laughs> Us in Florida are sort, kind of sort of used to, you know, the hurricane season, so we always get extras, but this is crazy. Oh, shaking. Bartender in action. <laughs> <laughs> it's like bartender in the house. <laughs> yes. Bartender Maximus. Oh, it's perfect. Yes. Ooh. <laughs> oh, my God. Mm -hmm. We don't need all of that, but you can't eat it if you want it. All the strawberries. You can. And it's like a mango habanero, so you can garnish it with pineapple or mango. And I'll put a little mango garnish with it. Just because fresh fruit makes everything better. <laughs> yeah, mango, don't worry, I got fresh fruit. <laughs> You cut it like that, and you go, whoop, 
You're gonna poop it. Poop it. And that's how you eat a mango. <laughs> And then you can put one on top like that, and then you can put a little strawberry on there. Look at that. Where do you get a mango? And then get a juicy strawberry. There you go. Oh man, that's gonna be so good. I can already smell it. OMG. See? You don't get mango. And you put, you there are many places. Mango you got live mango right here. With little you. mango and a little strawberry. And it's called a Memphis Bell. Boop it. There you go. <laughs> How cute. <laughs> oh, did you not see the mask? Oh, Pam didn't see the mask. You need me to do it again? <laughs> <laughs> she missed it. She wasn't here then. Did you not see it, mask? You did, did you not see it when I put this on? Look at that. I'm confused. Did you, did you see it? Wow. I did show it for that, that is impressive. And then there's this one. Yeah, I can put it back on if you didn't get to see it, Pam. If you just scroll back, I put it on and I showed you guys how to try it. Yeah. Didn't I show it to her? I don't I don't know how far back that was on the timestamp. So but I did tie it and I showed you how to tie it from the top and on the bottom. You want it over your hair. But if you just scroll back, I showed you how to do it. I have like fruit on my hands and I want to mess those up. But yep, there you go. You got the strawberry oh, yeah. and then the little mango booty on the top there. Uh, two, hour, two hours of mask. Scroll back. Oh. This is the problem when I make the drinks. They're delicious. <laughs> They're delicious. Rob is not gonna like that one. Nope. Uh, 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 All right, we're gonna make my version of I'm the here, apple I'm pie. here with the girl. The apple pie a la mode. Woo -woo. There you go. Right. So let me go right one out. Get off your phone. The it's Cheers. We're drinking with the gin. It's super got. Delicious. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Mitch, Mitch, you're, wa you're watching YouTube, buddy, not StreamYard. I'm right here. Cheers. Oh, well, that, uh, <laughs> you're right. I was watching my computer, not that. Scott. Okay. Anyway. The next thing we're going to make is using the old smoky apple pie. It's called an apple pie a la mode. This is delicious. Rob's going to love this one. I don't even know what to watch because... I don't know. My phone's doing one thing. My computer's doing something else. CM. This one I serve in a highball. So like a, a highball or rocks or a tall rocks. Highball. It's called a highball glass. So, same thing is two one one. Most everything we make at that store is two one one. I don't have cinnamon simple, so I'm gonna use that. Um, what we have? Oh my god, we don't we don't have any sale on cinnamon. Holy! <laughs> I have an extra stash of cinnamon in here though. Well, I don't think it's sale on. It's just a reggae, boring cinnamon. But whatever. So what we use actually is a cinnamon simple syrup. So all you could do is use, I use brown sugar, brown sugar. It's not brown really, but you can make simple syrup with regular white sugar. So I would put a little bit, we use actually cinnamon sticks and then we just put like 10 of them in there, pour some simple so syrup in there, minute then it overnight, then it's a cinnamon simple syrup. But I will just put it in the simple syrup a little bit and stir it up yeah. a smidge. Um, where's my waist? Oh, right here. And just kind of make my own cinnamon simple syrup for Rob for the purposes of this demonstration. So it's a cinnamon simple syrup. So we're going to do two ounces of the mango, of uh, two ounces of the old smoky apple pie moonshine, one ounce of lemon juice, and one ounce of the um, cinnamon simple syrup. And that's it, folks. Super simple. It's not. That's it, folks. 
Very, very simple. Just very simple. All right, now I'm going to break out the lemon juice. So this one, you need lemon juice, like straight. Oh, you need on. lemon juice for this one. Lemon. So we're going to do two ounces of this baby right here. We're just going to eyeball it because I don't have a force belt. More is more anyway. So two ounces, maybe more. <laughs> two ounces, okay? <laughs> of the apple pie Alamode Old Smoky. It's delicious. And then we'll do one ounce of lemon juice. You got the lime over here. We're just using lemon. You don't want like roses. If you want, you want like actual lemon oh, juice. That's garbage. If you can make it fresh, is better. So about an ounce of that, and then we'll do an ounce of the cinnamon that I just made. Where did it go? Oh, right here. And one ounce of the cinnamon syrup. It looks about like so, all right? And then clean, shaker. You always shake with the glass side up. That's how you know somebody's not professional if they're shaking backwards, you're like. Because you wanna put your hand over this because if it does shake and it flies, uh, you don't want it facing your guest. You always shake mm. the glass side up, just saying. <laughs> not really worse than in any time soon or they're just learning when they they shake backwards that glass needs to always be up that's how i can always tell i can watch somebody make a drink and tell you whether or not they're new at this or you know they've yeah, never done it before or they've been there a long time wow one more syringe so there you go. It comes out perfect, perfect, perfect measurement. There's nothing over because I just eyeball that perfectly. And it comes out a perfect amount in your glass. A little sprinkle of cinnamon oh. on top. The bam. Awesome dessert drink right here. Look, it's delicious. This one's called an apple pie a la mode. It's super delicious. Oh. <laughs> it's gotta be sweet. The sweet one. <laughs> it tastes like apple pie with like no. ice cream. It's wow. apple. honey, this is delicious. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh my god. That's a drink? A dessert drink. <laughs> wow. But yeah, that's my two drinks. I actually, it's good. It tastes just like it. So hey, I did it right. Homemade drinks, like homemade Disney drinks right there. Wow, so, that's amazing. The boop and the bam. There you go. You're going to boop it, and then you're going to, exactly, the boop and the bam. You got it. But, yep. <laughs> yeah, this one is the Memphis Bell. has the two strawberries in it, two ounces of the Old Smoky. Mango habanero whiskey, so delicious. Um, I used lime juice for this one, so one ounce of lime. And I just went to the Spanish market for that. They were like two dollars for these. You want the actual lemon and lime, like juice, not like the roses lime or anything. And then just make your own simple syrup with sugar and water at home. That's all you need. And if you gotta use a measuring cup, use a measuring cup. I kind of knew what it looks like eyeballing it, but good to go. So. Yep, but that's my stream of the night. We're going to just end it here because it's late. And we're going to enjoy your cocktails. Make sure you guys smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Give the stream a thumbs up. Kungaloosh. Yes, everybody drink on their kungaloosh. Thank you, Jen. Thanks for a great stream, Jen. Fun. A lot of fun tonight. Coming in, Love you guys. Bell. Memphis Bell's delicious. It's got the strawberries in it. We'll do a bunch of different. Um, yeah, I can't put it through. I know everybody's like, give me one, give me one. <laughs> I know Ruby would want one right now, girl, but I'm putting those glasses to good use. We like it. We like it a lot. <laughs> All right. 
Well, now it's your turn to make some magic. Comment, like, subscribe. Comment, like, subscribe. If you haven't already. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. The next time we stream, tomorrow or Monday. We'll see. Bye, y'all. Love you guys. Bye, guys. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.